All right, everybody getting everything all nice and shared up. I like it. What's going on, Michelle? What's up, Rob? Got people on here checking things out. We're going to build an audience the best we can. Jason, I'll be your host. We're at Maddox Games and Comics, 205 North Hill Street in London, Kentucky. And it is time for the new comic pre sale. That's right, pre sale. You can claim any of the items that come out tomorrow. Through Diamond tonight, you can claim the comics, the collectibles, etc. that you'd like. You can't pay for them or pick them up until tomorrow. It is a pre-sale. We are not actually selling these things. That is a no-no. What's up, Barry Lamb? No, no 50% off, Joshua. That's in-store only. And it's buy one, get one half off. We got lots of stuff tonight, including Doomsday Clock. That's right. Not only do we have Doomsday Clock, but we are going to have a Doomsday Clock bundle available to you, which will get you every single variant cover issue, plus the print and the Watchman button, all for one low price. I'm going to wait till we get in a lot of the people on here that are going to be after the Doomsday Clock. I don't want to sell them all out immediately. Uh, we haven't got that back in yet, George. You start Thanksgiving break tomorrow, Wiley? Awesome. Uh, Doomsday Clock is an awesome, huge event from DC Comics that is bringing the Watchmen into the regular DC Universe. If you like Rorschach, you're going to love Doomsday Clock. He is all over issue one, including the lenticular cover. What's up, Morgan? How's it going? Thank you for the shares, Kristen. Woohoo to Rob. I like it. We got a lot of people. Caesar's on here sharing. Awesome, awesome. All right, we got lots of people on here right now. We are going to get into the swing of things right now. I'm going to talk about the stuff we have on the board. First, I'm going to talk about what we have in the close up window. This is very interesting. I think you guys are going to be uh, interested to see this. This is the amazing Spider Man Renew Your Vows issue number eight. Issue number eight. That is Mary Jane with the Venom symbiote on. She has her daughter's Spider-Girl uh, helmet and the Spider-Man mask in her hand. It is signed by John Romita and is hand-numbered number 9 of 10. That's right. There are only 10 of these signed in gold by John Romita 
in the world. Not only that, it has the certificate of authenticity stating as such. This is issue number nine, certificate number nine, hand numbered. Um, Amazing Spider-Man New House number eight, specially limited series of 10 copies signed in gold by John Romita Sr. Classic John Romita. I thought it was John Romita Jr. It's John Romita Sr., his dad. That is fantastic. One of the first Spider-Man artists ever right here signing this. It is $220 and is one of only 10 in existence. Well, that was easy enough. Thank you, Caesar. Awesome. Sweet. I dig it. Let's put uh, something else out in the close-up window, shall we? All right, here we go. This is a retailer incentive exclusive. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ghostbusters 2, issue number four, drawn by my buddy, Ben Bishop. That's right, my buddy drew this cover. Pretty awesome. Nine bucks. Didn't know when it was going to come out. It is out this week. Only got one of those. That is $9. That is in the close-up window. That is the uh, variant for now. That was a good one, man. When I, we got that in, I saw it was one of ten. I was like, nah, that can't be right. We looked it up. We only saw one other one on sale online. It was number eight. And it was for sale for quite a bit more than the 220 Bad day, Clara. Well, we're glad you're on here now. Dude, Wiley, I dug Justice League. Thought it was fantastic. Stick through for the credits. All right. Brian got the retailer incentive exclusive. Thank you, Brian. This is Thanos issue 13. And it is a lenticular cover, which also shows Secret Wars issue 12. And it goes back between Doom and Thanos. I'm going to show you up close. This is one of the last lenticular covers coming out for Marvel Legacy. It is going to be $8. $8 for this one. I'm going to put it out in the close-up window. And that is the new issue of Thanos. Uh, there's a mid-credit and one at the very end. So you want to stick through completely through all of it. Um... A few, Michelle, also, I am selling the, uh, we're going to have a bundle of all the Doomsday stuff together. But we'll get to that as we get to it. Uh, we're kicking things off here uh, with the books. I'm going to talk about what we got on the board right now. We will get to Doomsday Clock here in a bit. This, another big storyline, The Oz Effect. This is the conclusion to The Oz Effect. This is Action Comics, issue number 992. That is the A cover for $3. And that is the A book. And the B cover of Action Comics, that is $3 as well. That is the B book. Again, to claim an item, all you have to do is put the number, uh, the letter and the number. So B3 would get you that issue of Action. Uh, of course, the number on the post-it note is the dollar amount of the item. These are just a penny above cover price, anything we put out here for the pre-sale. Uh, G4 to Michaela. Thank you, Michaela. That's the only one of those I've got for that angelic. I like it. All right, I'm going to put some else out here as the G-book now. And it is going to be Bank Shot. Bank Shot issue number four of five. Time for a beatdown. This is the comic that does feature the main character named Marcus King. Is it the same Marcus King who owns this store? Mm, who's to say? G4 is bank shot. All right. Billy Bob gets A3 and B3, scoring himself some Oz Effect books. I like it.
I think these bags of balloons keep sliding. Yeah. There you go. There you go. What's up, Michelle Docker? You taking off? Going to the dentist, had a tooth pulled. That is the worst. Pain feels not so bad. <laughs> All right. Over here for C. The C book is Archie, your pal Archie. It's issue number four. That's going to be $4. Well, that's true, Claire, right? The D book is all new Wolverine issue 27. It is part of Orphans of X. And there is Laura and Dawkin. And then a number of uh, these kids with the X's on their face. It is $4. Out here for E for four dollars. This is Angel issue number eleven. Finishing what they started. That is four bucks. And the F book. This is the B cover of Angel, and uh, that looks to be some type of dragon of some kind. And he's gonna fight it in the streets. It's four dollars. That of course is the bank shot. The H book. Any pins? Yeah, Megan. We got some pins. Doomsday clock pins. We'll be offering those up in a bit. This is Animosity Evolution. Animosity Evolution number two for $4. Out here for I, this is the Apocalypse Girl issue number one for four bucks. It's the first issue here. And uh, from what I saw inside, it looked pretty decent as far as the art and everything goes. Uh, she's fighting a monster with a giant eye, cutting it open, getting its guts out, and uh, eating cans of cat food. So, yeah, pretty cool apocalypse-related action. The Apocalypse Girl, number one from Amigo. It is $4. That is the I book. And the J book is Astro City. This is Astro City issue 49 from uh, DC and Vertigo. It is $4. Also, for anybody interested right now, I'm going to show a few of these things real quick to you guys. You guys are on the feet early. You guys are going to get some advantage for doing that. This is the Dorbs It. That's right. Stephen King's It right here. This is the classic version of Pennywise. Uh, it is the Dorbs. It is $10. If you'd like one, you can claim it. 10 bucks for the Pennywise. Also, we do have the Demogorgon Dorb. It is also $10. This is the open-faced version. Ten bucks for it. Also, this. This is Superman versus Doomsday. This is an action figure DC Icons 2-pack. You have Superman covered in blood. He's got the heat vision you can attach to him, super articulated. You have Doomsday, who's really articulated. They come with multiple heads. Uh, Superman actually comes with a head with his eyes closed where he's dead. There are the rocks. You've got the flag cape you can put in there. All of it, everything to recreate the death of Superman is right here for 80 bucks. Let me show this close to the camera. It's pretty great. No Funko Stranger Things, Michaela, but you can pick up that Dorbs for just ten dollars. All right. Um, I'm going to show you something for Doomsday Clock right now. This is the special we're going to be running tonight. Until we can't, we're not going to have many of them. Um, but this is a special we are going to run on Doomsday Clock. You guys can take advantage of it if you'd like. Uh, I'm not going to sell the single issues of Doomsday Clock until we, as we work our way through to the Ds, then we'll get to it. 
But for now, I will show you the, the special bundle package of Doomsday Clock. All right. So, what we're going to get, actually, I'm going to get the mic and come talk to you guys close so I can show you all this stuff. All right, here we go. First up, this is the Doomsday Clock button. These were exclusively only at San Diego Comic Con earlier this year. We got that. This is the awesome Doomsday Clock print by Gary Frank. And there, of course, Dr. Manhattan and Superman being created, possibly by Dr. Manhattan. Who's to say? Black and white print in a top loader. And then you also get Doomsday Clock. This is the lenticular cover. There's Rorschach, and it changes to the Trinity symbols. Pretty awesome, right? And that is a Brian Boland cover, artist on the original Watchmen. You get the Gary Frank B cover. The end is here. The people are ready. You get the Gary Frank regular cover here. The C cover. And the special midnight release cover. You will get that as well, the black and white. All of that. The four comics, the print, and the pin for $50. Those you can go ahead and claim. You can't claim regular issues yet, but if you want a bunch of... Doomsday Clock Bundle for 50 You can claim that right now. Uh, pull, you got the lenticular. Pull customer got the lenticulars. Megan Dodge gets the Doomsday Bundle. Uh, Rob Hanrat gets one. All right. So here is... Get uh, Rob's print here in his top loader. PM sent if we see that. All right, John, we'll check PMs. All right, Rob, here is your Doomsday Clock bundle for 50. Um, okay, Michelle Day wants a Doomsday Bundle. We'll get you a Doomsday Bundle here, Michelle. And the thing is, we do not have equal numbers of covers on all of these. So as soon as I'm out of being able to supply you with everything, there are no more bundles available. So if you want to claim a bundle, you're on the fence, I would say do it now. That was your fourth comment? Holy cow, John. What is it? Oh. I've... Uh, White Knight didn't come out, William. They didn't put anything up against Doomsday Clock. No metal tie-ins either. I feel like it's a pretty good deal. 50 bucks, you get everything. All right. Let's keep talking about uh, what we got on the board. If anybody else wants to claim a Doomsday Clock bundle, I don't know how many left I can do, but as soon as I run out of one of those four covers, it's over, and they were not equal. Like uh, the lenticular special that we did our pool customers, we don't have a lot of those left. All right. Uh, what was that? Uh, headshot. Oh, yeah. 
Animosity. The H book is Animosity Evolution. Um, this, of course, is the comic about animals basically becoming fully sentient um, and deciding to come after us and kill us all. It is uh, $4 for that. That is the H book. Apocalypse Girl, that. I guess we're going to the next thing. All right. Take down, uh, take down the action comics for right now. It's the conclusion to the Oz effect. And in its place, I'm going to put out Batgirl issue 17, Summer of Lies. Long live the Red Queen. This is the A cover for $4. And this is Batgirl 17, the B cover. Really awesome. Uh, black and gray scale with her and Nightwing. Nightwing stabbed her in the heart. The blood's dripping. He's got the blood red crown. Pretty cool. Four bucks for that one. I'm going to look at one of those. Hey, <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna take down the uh, the C book for four is the Year Pal Archie, and I'm gonna grab out Batman Beyond. Oh, uh, there's some more. Thank you. All right, thank you. Let's see. This is uh, Batman Beyond, issue 14, cover A. That's $4. That is the C-book. Take down the uh, all-new Wolverine. No issues all-new Wolverine sold at all. Let's see. Well, you should buy a second bundle, Rob. You should buy yourself two bundles. This is the uh, Batman Beyond issue 14 for $4. That is going to be the D-book. Like 10 minutes. <laughs> George, you want an all-new Wolverine? All right, let me grab you one here. All right. That is for George Bruno. Four. Thank you, sir. This is a cool one. i got to find the price on it. Oh, four bucks. Let's see if I got another $4 price tag. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Uh, no, Billy Bob. Um... You weren't seriously asking that, right? <laughs> this is the uh, angel. I'm going to take that down. This is Betty and Veronica Vixens number one. That is $4. Yeah, you got to come in the store for that type of action. This is the F book for $4. Betty and Veronica Vix is number one for four. I figured as much. I figured as much. All right, I'm going to take down the G book for four. That is the bank shot. Uh, Michaela, all I have, no, no, all I got's that one. We don't order enough of it, uh, I don't think really, I don't, to get it, I don't know, I'm not sure how they do that one, but, uh, that's the only cover we got. This is Black Panther, issue 167, this is the variant edition, it is only four bucks.
Definitely, Billy Bob. Definitely have to stop in. Doing a tour tonight? No, JD, we're going to do a tour sale tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow around 6 or 7, we'll do a pre-sale, a regular sale tomorrow afternoon. Then we're going to do a tour sale tomorrow night. We did not. We did not get the Hellboy Krampus. Uh, we are supposed to, uh, but we didn't get it today, so hopefully it'll arrive at least by next week. What's up, Shamir? And we're going to put out Cable Issue 150. That's right. The newer mutants. This is Cable 150. Here he is. His head is burning. It's on fire. It's not good. Uh, as you know, Deadpool 2. You guys saw the uh, funny teaser trailer they put out the other day. Cable's all over it. This is Cable. It is $4. That is the H-Book. It's a good jumping on point since uh, it's part of the uh, Legacy. So it's just kind of kicked back off its storylines. Uh, out here for I, this is Blue Beetle issue 15, Alien Rumble. That is going to be $4. That is the only copy of Blue Beetle I got. That's a good question, Shamir. I don't know who your favorite people are, but you'd have to ask them. <laughs> this is Captain Marvel issue 126 and there she is punching Black Widow right in her jaw it happens Dark Origins Captain Marvel 126 that is $4 that's going to be the J book I'm going to take down the Astro City We're not selling individuals yet. I haven't sold any individual issues yet. I'm only selling the bundles right now. This is Dante. Dante, it is from, uh, it's mature rated. It's from Image Comics. Um, Matt Hawkins, Derek Robertson. Derek Robertson is the art in this who did The Boys. And, um... There's a guy getting his throat cut open and stabbed in the chest. And here's some mature rated stuff. And here's people getting shot in the face. And more mature rated stuff. And more people getting shot in the face. And this guy's covered in tattoos. And he's shooting this guy. It's pretty awesome. This is Dante number one. It is $6. It is an oversized issue from Image. We're going to put it up here as the A book for $6. I'm going to take down Batgirl in the A and B slot here. <laughs> you don't tell me what to be.
Do you have any of the Doomsday Bundles left? I do. Uh, what you get in the Doomsday Bundle. I've not sold the Doomsday Clock issues individually. Did y'all say forward? Um, what we're doing is you can get all four issues of Doomsday Clock. You get the print in a top loader and the Doomsday Clock button all for $50. I have a, I have a few left. I'm not sure exactly how many. As soon as I run out of one of the covers... Or the prints, then I, the bundle is useless. Um, so yeah, they're fifty dollars, and you get every Doomsday Clock thing that exists, including the lenticular Rorschach cover. What's up, Francisco? Yeah, I know, uh, Marcus. I'm in the middle of doing a few things at once. Dante is the last one I put up his A. Oh, you're fine. Mm. All right, Jeremy Mills gets a $50 Doomsday Clock bundle. Uh, this is Demon, the Demon, Hell is Earth, number one. From DC Comics, if you've ever read The Demon, awesome, Edric and the Demon, that is the B-Book, that is the number one for only three bucks, and if Ragman's any indication, some of these guys that you consider C-listers, they're really putting a lot of time into. I'm going to grab uh, that, and I'll show you the print too here in just a moment. Let me grab this for Jeremy. JD, B3 to George Bruno. Thank you, George. I'm going to grab that for you. I'm putting these bundles together real quick. Oops. Yeah, put that forward. There we go. That's for George. All right. Let me, uh, let me show you this real quick. This is the print. It comes in a top loader. Very nice. It is the black and white cover, which is the uh, the Midnight Party release variant cover. Here are all four Doomsday issues and the sweet Doomsday Clock button. All right. So that's the first one. That's Jeremy Mills. All right. So Jeremy Mills needs one. And then um, J.D. Moss, you wanted one too? JD, here is your Doomsday Clock bundle as well. Thank you, guys. Shamir, you want a Doomsday Clock bundle? Let me see if I got one here. I'm, I know I'm running low. All right. Volume one is out tomorrow. Uh, I'll check to see, Michaela. I will check to see what we have in the trade department. We did get a number of trades coming out tomorrow. I don't know if we have the Iron Groot or not. All right, Shamir, here is your Doomsday Clock bundle for 50. Caesar wants a bundle. All right, let's get another bundle here. All right, I'm putting Caesar's print into his top loader. I'm grabbing his button. All right, Caesar, here is your Doomsday Bundle. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. Make sure everything's here. All right, and it looks like, let me count how many bundles I can do.
I only have enough. I can do three more bundles. Three more bundles before I'm out of at least one of the covers. And as soon as I'm out of one of the covers, the bundles are gone. So if you want to get all the Doomsday stuff, if you want to take advantage of that, or if you want two of them, now is your time to claim them. I've only got enough for three more bundles left for 50. Any Spider Gwen 25 variants? Mm -mm. What's a Doomsday Bundle? Justin, a Doomsday Bundle gets you all four covers of Doomsday Clock. You get the print in a top loader and the button all for $50. $50 for all of that together. Uh, I've only got enough for three of those left. Uh, so if you would like a $50 bundle, now is your time. It is sure to be, uh, and trust me, I flipped through it, Rorschach's, uh, I, I wanted to read it before the sale, I didn't have time. It's going to be a big one, folks, you're going to want it. Thinking on the Batman Beyond, we're going to put out Department H, Department H, issue number 20. For just four dollars, that is going to be the C book. All right, next up we have Detective Comics as the D-Book. This is Fall of the Batman, Part 1. Detective Comics 969, united for the last time. And there you have Batman, Batwoman, Batwing, Azrael, um, the Talon, Spoiler, and uh, Tim Drake all there together. $3. That is the D-Book for the A cover for Detective And this is Detective Comics 969. This is the B cover by Gilliam March, featuring a number of villains, including Mr. Zaz and uh, Solomon Grundy. That's going to be $3. I'm going to take down this uh, Betty and Veronica Vixens number one. That is the ebook. Take down the Fs here, the Betty and Veronicas. Next up, for F, this is Doctor Who, the 10th Doctor, issue number 11. That is going to be On the Black Panther. That is the G book for four. F four to Jay Collins. Thank you, Jay. How's it going, man? And the next F book for four, this is the uh, Tenth Doctor, number 11 for four dollars. That is the other cover there. This is Dollface, issue number 11. This is the limited edition cover. It is $5. That is going to be the G book for five. Mm -hmm. 
F4 again to Jay. Thank you, Jay. Uh, Jay, I don't know if you've been interested in the Doomsday Bundle or not. Are you are you just now getting on the feed, or have you been on for a little bit? All right, I've only got a, let's see, how many of these left? All right. This is the Doomsday Clock Bundle, in case you haven't seen it or anybody else has gotten on the feed, they haven't seen it yet. We've not sold the individual copies of Doomsday Clock yet. Uh, this is Doomsday Clock. This is the bundle. You get the regular lenticular cover. With Rorschach, his face changes to that of the Trinity. You get the end is near cover with all the uh, the crowds there. You get the Gary Frank cover with Superman with Dr. Manhattan. You are also are going to get the uh, Midnight Release exclusive black and white. You are going to get the Doomsday Clock print in the top loader, which is also the black and white cover. And... The Doomsday Clock exclusive button. You get all of those together for $50. Every single Doomsday Clock thing there is to come out for issue one, you can get them all together for $50. Only have three of these bundles all together left. It's 50 bucks for all of it. across the board here. Did you step on the cat, right? No, that's not the cat. No, you did it because I'm not going to get it. Oh, okay. Right <laughs> All right, next up for, uh, oh, I guess in the uh, EF spot there, I'm going to put Doom Patrol Doom Patrol issue number nine for four dollars. That's going to be the F book. Cable as the H book for four. And I'm going to put out Doppelganger. This is one in a four issue limited series. It is from Alterna Comics. Doppelganger. Sometimes your worst enemy is yourself. That is $3. That is the H book. Oh, that sucks, Shamir. Hopefully, that's not the case. This is Dr. Radar, issue number one from Static Press. Dr. Radar is surrealistic. Sur surrealistic. <laughs> Riveting and beautifully executed. It's from Titan Comics, uh, much like the, uh, the girl who handcuffed Houdini was. This is very much in that vein of kind of uh, noir horror crime. 
It's pretty good. This is the Frank Avia cover. It is five dollars for Doctor Radar number one. That's gonna be the new iBook. down the uh, Captain Marvel and we're going to put out the other cover here for Dr. Radar Dr. Radar issue one it's going to be just five dollars we can show you the artist out of these but I cannot Well, maybe it's supposed to be yesterday. I don't know, man. Has it said it's been delivered? Up here for A, this is Dante. This is a uh, one-shot deal from Image. Art by Derek Robertson. Super violent. I'm going to pull that down. This is Doomsday Clock, issue number one. This is the lenticular Rorschach cover. It is $6. That is going to be the A book. Up here for B, I'm going to take down the demon. Hell is Earth for $3. A6 to George Bruno. Thank you, George. Six. Uh, let me see if I got one for David Brown. I got you one right here, David Brown. Dollar. I got one more bundle left. But good for us. All right. Well, man, there's still a chance it's going to show up then. There is still a chance. All right, this is uh, Doomsday Clock number one. This is a Gary Frank cover. It is $5. And there he is standing there with Dr. Manhattan. $5 for that one. That is going to be the A book for five. Only got two of those left available. This is DuckTales issue number three. If you guys want the new cartoon, it is four bucks. That is the B book. Scrooge and all the rest. Brian gets one for five. Only got one of those left. All right, let's see what we got up here. This is the uh, Department H for four dollars. I'm going to take that down. And I'm going to put up the Flash. This is the B cover. This is the only cover I have available. It is $3. The Flash, 35 And there is Barry and Wally being attacked by the uh, negative speed force. $3. That is the C book. Kicking off the new reverse Flash, which was uh, Barry's former girlfriend. George gets an issue with the Flash for three. Thank you, George. Yep. 
let's see. This is four, I believe. All right, I'm going to put this up for four dollars. I'm going to take down the detective for three. And I'm going to put up George R. R. Martin's A Clash of Kings, A Song of Fire and Ice. This is issue number six. It is $4. That is the D book. A little Game of Thrones action. I'm going to take down this uh, B cover here for Detective Comics as well. D4 to J. Thank you, Jay. That leaves one more copy of Game of Thrones available. This is Gasolina, issue number three from Image Comics. That is uh, $4. It is going to be the ebook. one of those that doesn't like to stand up there. We'll see how it does. E4 to David Brown. David gets an issue. Got one right here for you. Thank you, David. This is the new issue of Game of Thrones. This is the Virgin Art Variant Edition for $18. I'm going to take down the Thanos, and I'm going to put that out for $18. Again, this is the Thanos Lenticular issue for $8. What's up, Joshua Ross? How's it going? The F book, Doom Patrol. I'm going to take that down. And in its place, I'm going to put out Generation X. Well, if I can... That's going good, man. Been selling a lot of Doomsday Clock. Pre-selling a lot of Doomsday Clock, I should say. This is Generation X. Issue number nine, it's a Terry Dodson cover, and this is the return of Husk to the uh, Generation X team. That is $4. She's the uh, sister of Cannonball, also one of the few superheroes from Kentucky. There we go. There's your synopsis, sir. All right, out of here. That is the doll face for five dollars. That is the G book. I'm gonna take that down. This is Grim Tales of Terror, issue number 10, Haunted Hanging. There's a guy hanging, some little kids looking at it. That is $4 for that one. That air for H, Doppelganger number one for $3. Really, nobody grabbing that? G4 to George. Thank you, George.
This is Grim Tales of Terror, number 10, cover A, Haunted Hanging. Here's this old guy. He's got his uh, lamp, and he's got a noose ready, nice and creepy. And the classic uh, Tales from the Crypt style cover there. It is $4 for that Tales of Terror issue. Out here for H, this is Grim Tales of Terror number 10, Haunted Hanging. That is $4. With a woman there, I don't know if she's death or if she's just the hangman or what. Dr. Radar, issue number one. Didn't sell for five bucks. I wonder if it's got a synopsis in here for it. I think it does. Mm, it doesn't. But it originally was not an American comic. It's actually been translated, which is pretty cool. The artwork's great. H4 to uh, George. Thank you, George. Take down the Dr. Radar. Issue 1, A and B cover. All right. Let's see, which cover is this? First one, all right. This is Ghost Station Zero, part four. That is $4. That is the A cover for H. And I is Ghost Station Zero, part four. It is the B cover. It's going to be the I book for four. Find something here for J. There we go. Dr. Radar number one. Paris, 1920. A gentleman detective plays a deadly game with a criminal mastermind, Dr. Radar, while investigating a series of horrific deaths. An atmospheric masterpiece perfect for the fans of Pulp Noir and deadly criminal masterminds. Dr. Radar's surrealistic, riveting, beautifully executed thriller unlike anything else I've ever read. That's a pretty good quote. This is Glitter Bomb, The Fame Game. This is issue number three. And there's this awesome uh, demon kid kind of climbing a wall there. Pretty cool. It's going to be uh, $4. Glitter Bomb, The Fame Game, issue three for four. That is going to be the J-Book. Is in the close up. Uh, Othi, that is Game of Thrones, the new issue of Game of Thrones. That is the uh, Virgin Art variant cover. Uh, it is Game of Thrones issue six. Here's the regular cover for four. That is the Virgin Art for 18. Take down this uh, Doomsday Clock issue for five. That's the last of that cover I have available. This is the uh, Midnight pre-release variant Doomsday Clock. It's six dollars. That is the uh, black and white cover. That's going to be the A book. J4. Let's see. All right. J gets an issue of Glitter Bomb. Thank you, sir. There's one issue left. Taking down the DuckTales. A6 to, David A6 to David Brown. Let me grab you one of those, David. They got another one here. I think maybe I put them both up here. I did. I put them both. All right. I got one left of that now. 
This is six dollars for David Brown. Thank you, David. Uh, that's not a court of owls mask, Joshua. It's an alien head. Um, it's just. Uh, yeah, McKaylee is addicted to aliens. I think maybe she's been abducted. She probably had that lost time thing and she doesn't remember. This is God Complex issue number two from Image. That is $4. That is going to be your B book. What is up, Colby? How is it going? A6 to Shamir. Shamir gets the last one of those. Thank you, sir. B for four to George. George gets a God of Complex. Thank you, sir. I got one issue of God of Complex left. And this is Doomsday Clock, issue number one. The end is near. This is the Gary Frank cover with all the protesters at only $5. That is going to be the A book for five. Again, this is a pre-sale. You can't pay for any of these items until tomorrow or pick up any of these items until tomorrow. It is a pre-sale. We are not selling you these items. We are pre-selling you these items. Oh, no problem, Kobe. The new C book. I'm going to be taking down. What do we got here? Flash. I got three issues left of Flash. That's not right. You guys should be buying that. That book is good. I got that on my pull list. This is Gold Digger issue 25. This is the Gold Digger. Uh, I guess it's the swimsuit issue. Yep, that is what it is. Gold Digger swimsuit issue. That is $4. That is the C book. I have one of those available. While I've been selling the Doomsday Clock, I do have one Doomsday Clock bundle available. I saved them back. I got one bundle available left. You get the Midnight Release. You get the regular cover here. You get the Protester cover. And you get the Lenticular Rorschach plus the Doomsday Clock print in a top loader and the Doomsday Clock button. All for $50. You get all that for $50. Bucks. That is every Doomsday Clock item available. C4 to J. There it is, the gold digger. This is the only one of those I got. Thank you, J. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Are you, a buyer? Are, you a, are you in the market? I am now. <laughs> All right, next up. We saw to this pretty much every time it's on the sale. This is Gotham City Garage, featuring a number of the uh, female DC heroes and villains uh, on sweet motorcycles. This is Catwoman. Bundle. That is Nightwing. Tyler. Tyler Holder scoring some uh, Doomsday Clock. I like it. All right, that's the last of the Doomsday Clock bundles. Tyler scored our last one. I do have a number of Doomsday Clock issues I'll still be putting out along with prints and buttons as the night goes, but uh, that was it for getting to complete everything. All right, Gotham City Garage. That is Nightwing and Catwoman on a motorcycle. It is $3. It is issue number four, and it is the new C-Book. C for three to George. He's already on it. He knows what's up. He wants Gotham City Garage. Thank you, George. All right, we'll get up here for $4. My last issue of the Game of Thrones. A for five to Russell. Which one is that? All right, one of those. Let me grab you one here, Russ. Thank you, sir. Five. All right, next up, this is uh, Happy Hour in America. Happy Hour in America, number one. 
and it's just awesome. It is uh, from Fantagraphic Books. The artwork, and this is one that I wish I could show you the interior for. It's amazing. Um, it is five dollars. Exciting new stories exploring the great American mythological drama. Happy Hour in America, number one. I only have two of these available. It is five dollars. That is a D book right there. Also, this is the Doomsday Clock print, the midnight release print. He's got the black and white. You got uh, Manhattan. You got Superman being created by Gears, as he's being created by Dr. Manhattan, who I've guessed is the DC's God for a long time. Uh, I'm sure they don't give that answer in issue one, but I'm hoping that by the end of it, I'm proven correct. Uh, this is Doomsday Clock. This is the print. It is $12 and comes in a top loader. 12 bucks for a print. I'm going to say it's D for five. It could be dog for five. We don't have any dogs for sale, so I'm going to assume it's D. All right. Thank you, George. Uh, we, we did that whole deal back when this letters first showed up. Oh, okay. I don't know why they were so excited. They because I mostly ignore when they say that oh, stuff, okay. and you fed into it. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's a good issue, George. You should thank Morgan, and you should read it whenever it comes in, because it's awesome. This is uh, Gasolina, issue number three for $4. I'm going to pull that down. We bought all the Doomsday things separate. It was cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got them for cheaper uh, buying the bundle. This is uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number five. This is the variant edition. And uh, that is uh, Groot and all of them from the Telltale Games series. That is $4. That is the ebook. Uh, it started today in the store, Colby. In the store, uh, store online, Black Friday stuff uh, started today. We'll be going all the way through Monday. There's a video on the uh, page about it. All right, the new F book now, Generation X, issue number nine. This is Harley Quinn, issue number 32. Harley Quinn, number 32. Vote Harley. That is $3. $3 for that one. That is the F book. We take down the grim Tales of Terror as the G. So you gotta put out this other Harley. F3 to, to J. J gets a Harley Quinn. Thank you, J. This 
is Harley Quinn Rebirth, issue 32. That is just $3. That is the G-Book. Oh, I uh, I put out the print for the wrong price a minute ago. Nobody bought a print, right? Singly? Okay, good. The prints aren't $12. You should have took advantage of that whenever I put it out there. <laughs> yeah, the prints are 18 because they're 15 plus the price of the top loader. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kristen. Yeah, I knew something something was off with that. Yeah, the prints. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I actually made it to where you're actually saving on each of the issues and then the prints and the button. So, yeah, because we added it up before we started. I want to make sure you got a deal if you bought the bundle. That was kind of the point of the bundle. That, well, that plus getting everything. All right, let's see. What do we have next? H. That's Ghost Station Zero. There we go. I'm going to take those down. All right, here we go. This is uh, Hellblazer. Hellblazer issue 16 from DC Comics. The Bardo score part one. This is the A cover. Surrounded by a number of uh, dead individuals that are always aggravating. I wish that happened in the Vertigo comics as well. That is $4 for that one. And I have the B cover here. This is Hellblazer issue 16. That is $4. $4 for that. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I've got Pops here. H for 4 to OC. Oh, there we go. That's the Hellblazer. He got that one. Um, I've not put them up any yet, though. So you might not want to share it until I start putting some Pops up. I don't want to uh, make anybody aggravated. Although I did show off, I did show off the Dorbs Pennywise. I for four to Othi. Thank you, Othi. I for four to Jay. All right, that's Othi's. And this one is for Jay. I've got one more issue of Hellblazer left. But yeah, I'm going to have some pops to put up and some uh, Funko related things like that. Nobody, uh, okay, cool. And I have the Dorbs Chase Demogorgon. It is the Chase version with the closed mouth. We also have the open mouth as well. This one is $20. $20 for the Chase Demogorgon Dorbs. So I'm put it out here in the close-up window for a little bit. American Gods didn't come out. 
this week. It came out last week. We also got some new uh, Star Trek ships in today. This is the uh, USS Titan from the Star Trek official Starships collection. We also got... The uh, Kazon Raider from Star Trek, from Eagle Moss. And these are $23. $23 for these. I'll show them up close to the camera. Yeah, just like just like Chase Pops. Yep, same thing. It just means that uh, for ever so many cases, one of them might have a Chase in it. Like their rarity changes depending on what they are. All right, let's see. Uh, H, 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 H. All right, this is a new number one. It is a horror-related number one. They put the preview in uh, the previous catalog, and it's pretty awesome, pretty creepy. This is Imaginary Fiends issue number one from Vertigo. And uh, this girl's come out of the woods, and this thing's all wrapped all over her there. Very cool-looking cover. Imaginary Fiends number one. I'm not going to have many of these. They are only going to be $4.00. We're going to put them out here as the H book. Uh, I think we do have one. I think we do have one. Um, let me see. I thought we did. It may have gotten mixed up. Oh, yep. I've got it right here, Jay. It is $4. $4 if you'd like to claim that. Feel free. I've only got one of them. It was just... In between the dividers I had for the books there. I missed it. George wants H4. That, well, uh, Morgan put in that George wants it. Yeah, there you go. Well, there... Well, there... Jay wants an H4. Thank you, Jay. There you go. And the Inferno for four. Thank you, Jay. Awesome. Really? I'm not, I'm not kidding. Imaginary Fiends, you guys are going to want it. If you're fans of horror comics, this is an issue number one to get on. Vertigo, I feel like, is the place for horror comics. Dark Horse does a lot, and they're good. A lot of the Hellboy-esque stuff. But as far as straight horror, Vertigo, that's the way. This is the... Uh, thanks, he's fixing his dinner. No problem. This is the Hellblazer B cover. I've only got one of these left for four. I'm going to take that down. Oh, no problem, Jay. Thank you, man. This is Invader Zim, issue 43. Oh. This is cover A. I'm going to put this out. Invader Zim. That is going to be the iBook. Those are not going to stand up. Let's see. Is the top one over so they can get ready? They're probably still not going to stand up. Uh, this is Glitter Bomb, the fame game. It's the last one of those I have for $4. If you'd like it, you can claim it. Uh, yeah, I've got it right here, Michaela. It is $10. $10 for the open mouth version. $20 for the chase version. $10 for the Demogorgon. If you'd like to claim it, you're more than welcome to. 
This is the Invader Zim issue 25. This is the B cover. And that is Gurr in a uh, squirrel suit leading an army of squirrels on his way for something. It's four dollars. That is the J book. You want both, Michaela? Can do. Twenty for that one and ten on that one. Thank you. And then Tosh gets the uh, Invader Zim B cover. With all the squirrels. Whoa! I knew there was one down there. All right. Uh, moving back up here to the A books. That is the uh, Doomsday Clock. The end is here for five. We take that down. I hope. You got them, Michaela. 30 bucks. You got them both. This is the Invincible Iron Man, issue 594. This is $4. That is the A book. I feel like I should wear a sweet, uh, sweet Doomsday Clock button. What? Well, I don't want to. I'm promoting. I'm promoting Doomsday Clock right now. I'm not Justice League. <laughs> it's okay. I got a Doomsday Clock button. How much are these buttons? How much you say these buttons are? These buttons were San Diego Comic Con exclusives, and now we have some of these. Is that what you're saying? We got a few buttons left. Well, these are expensive. Expensive buttons. If you're interested in a button, you can ask me, and I'm gonna tell you. This is the Shadow issue number four. This is the black and white variant for $9. That's going to go out here in the close-up window. Oh, gotcha. No problem, Michaela. This is James Bond 007. This is uh, James Bond 007 Solstice. It is a one-shot. Shadow for nine to Othi. Thank you, sir. Grab that for you. This is the Virgin Art variant of that issue, The Shadow. There he is leaping off this overpass on to the top of a train. It is $18. The black and white and red Virgin Art variant. I'm going to take down the uh, God Complex. We got one of those left. This is the James Bond 007 Solstice one shot. It is just $5. That is the B book. Oh, think it's the shadow for 18. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you for the sacrifice, Shamir. All right, B5 to J. J gets an issue of James Bond. I've only got a couple of those left. They are a one-shot. If you've not read a James Bond comic from Dynamite, I highly recommend them. And this one you can pick up and read all on its own. This is the uh, Gotham City Garage, issue number four for $3. I'm going to take that down. Uh, 
All right, this is Justice League of America, issue 19, Surgical Strike. The JLA are frauds, and I'll prove it. Prometheus battles Vixen. The loser dies. That is uh, the C-book for three. Uh, you know, at one time, Green Arrow killed Prometheus. And then the Justice League took him to trial. It was a whole thing. This is the Shadow, issue number four for $9. It's is a different black and white variant cover. Going to go right there. Oh, Happy Hour in America. Only have one of these left. That is $5. That is a good one. Shadow for nine to Othi. Thank you, Othi. Oh, uh, we did. Will you go grab that for me, Ben? Dark Crystal hardcover. In fact, bring all of the graphic novels, please. That's not manga. We don't want the manga, but any of the graphic novels. This is the Shadow Virgin Art variant cover for 18. Pretty awesome shot. I believe it's Kelly Jones artwork. Really nice. 18 bucks for that one. We did, Jay. Going to get it now, plus the other graphic novels we got. I remember seeing it earlier today. This is Bill Willingham's Lark's Killer. This is issue number four from Devil's Due. And there's a crow on top of this guy's head. Blood's dripping, and it's not dripping. It's $4 for the D-Book. Shadow for 18 to Othi. Thank you, Othi. That is a very cool cover. I did like that uh, that Virgin Art cover on it. This is Zombie Tramp issue 41. This is the uh, Risque variant. It is $7. Put that right there. Take down the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't know why I put that in a bag and board. That was weird of me. But I did it. Jay gets the zombie tramp. And George wants one as well. I'll see if I have another one, George. This is the Librarians. That is the photo cover for $4. That's going to be the ebook. All right. So Jay gets one of these for 7 No, he's wanting a close up for 7 I got another one for you, George. I do. I got you one right here. Seven dollars for that one. Uh, I haven't seen you in a while, Barry. Uh, private message the store if you have to. We'll make sure to uh, get that for you. Whatever it is you may be requesting. I haven't seen anything. Yeah, that comment can be seen, but I don't know if you've tried to do anything else. This is Zombie Tramp, issue 41, the artist risque variant. She's playing in some guts on here. This is seven. Yeah, we want to make sure everybody gets seen. We want to try to get everybody's stuff to them as much as they can. Uh, 
Oh, okay, it's cool. G3 to Robert Casterline. Thank you, Robert. You got the B cover to Harley Quinn. All right, this is the hardcover, The Power of the Dark Crystal. Jim Henson's The Power of the Dark Crystal. Simon Spurrier, Kelly, and Nicole Matthews. A bold leap forward for the franchise. 10 out of 10 from Newsarama. It is a hardcover edition with spot gloss on it. It looks fantastic. Uh, the legend continues in an official sequel to Jim Henson's beloved fantasy film, The Dark Crystal. Years have passed since The Dark Crystal was healed and peace was restored to Thra. Blah, blah, blah. There's more stuff to go. But hey, you should just read it. Uh, this is $25. But right now, I'll sell for $23. $23 for the hardcover, The Power of the Dark Crystal. I have two of these available that I think... Yes, I have two of them. They're $23 if you'd like one. F3 to Robert. Thank you, Robert. Dark Crystal for 23 to Jay Collins. Thank you, Jay. Here's your Dark Crystal. Something else, too, I think. All right. Sweet. And again, I do have one more of those Power of the Dark Crystal available for you guys. Uh, let's see. All right. We're hitting the Harley Quinns here. She's had her time in the sun. Jay gets that one for seven. Thank you, Jay. This is Long Lost, issue number one from Scout Comics. Long Lost, number one. It is $4, and it is a uh, horror-related number one. Um, very much like, it seems like monsters following the people around in this. That is the F book for four. Reminds me of Death Note in that way, kind of, does that make sense? This is Luke Cage. This is Luke Cage. Issue number 167 for $4. That is the G book. F4 to J. Thank you, J. J gets one of these issues of Long Lost.
F4 to George Bruno. Thank you, George. George gets one of those. Yeah, Renee, I got some doomsday here. Let's see what I got left for you. I've got uh, these two issues left available. They are $5 a piece. We've got the uh, regular Superman, Dr. Manhattan issue and the protester issue. They're five bucks a piece. Also, I do have the prints available. These are $18 and they do come in the top loader. They're made to you in the top loader, $18. For the Doomsday Clock black and white print. Nope, well, they're gone, Barry. They are gone. We sold through all of them. These buttons are $7 a piece. They will come to you shipped for $7 a piece. Seven bucks for the Doomsday exclusive buttons. I'm going to put the uh, censored button over here. Thank you, Colby. This is Zombie Tramp, issue number 41. It is the limited risque edition. That's going to be $7. Got a baseball bat. And a heart in her hand. I guess she's going to hit it with the bat. It's not going to go like she wants. It's going to be gross. Maybe she wants it gross. It's such a thing. Zombie Tramp for seven, two Shamir and Jay Collins. I've got enough for both of you. Oh, they're falling over just then. Oh, no, you're going to fall over. All right. Thank you, guys. I think I do have another one of those, somebody else, one on one. This is uh, A Clash of Kings, George R. R. Martin's A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, Issue 6, Black and White Sketch Variant. It's $10. That is going to be up there in the close-up window. Ooh, and another number one. I like it. This book right here, this is Maxwell's Demons. Maxwell's Demons. It reminds me of uh, kind of like Joe the Barbarian about the kid who was having the diabetic um, episode and like saw his action figures come to life and like he was fighting alongside of them. Kind of like this, sort of, not quite. Uh, seems like a kid's dreaming, some stuff going on, he's going to another world, fighting monsters, fighting demons, things are happening. Maxwell's Demons from Vault, it's number one, it is $4.00. H book I'm going to take down 
Imaginary Fiends number one. I'm surprised this did not sell out. I feel like it's going to be one of those that you guys are going to be asking for in the next day or so. Uh, no, that's the only uh, Luke Cage we got. Only Luke Cage we got. We're going to take down the Invader Zim. That is in the I and the J spots. And I'm going to put out Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 21 for $4. That'll be the I book. <laughs> Look at you trying to pawn it off. This is Terry Moore's Motor Girl. Motor Girl issue 10, the final issue. There she is. There's a Sasquatch in the background. Things are happening in Motor Girl. I feel like the title doesn't truly tell you what the book's about. It is $4. I only got one of those. That is the J book. Slabs, um, nothing new, Colby. All we've got are uh, the ones from last night. If there are any of those you're interested in last night, you can let me know. But I don't have any new ones for today. I do have quite a bit of awesome uh, merch that I'm going to show you guys. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you some of it now. All right. I'm going to show you some graphic novels while I've got them right here. This is Spawn Resurrection. Spawn Resurrection. This is going to be... Um, come on. That's garbage. There is not a price on the back. <laughs> Hang on. It's got to be... I mean, it's not even on the inside covers. Okay, I got Spawn Resurrection. I don't know how much it cost. This is Dollface. This is Dollface Tales of the Ball Jointed Witch Hunter, Volume 1. This contains um, 1 through 4 of Dollface. That's going to be $14 for the Dollface graphic novel. This is Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe again. The entire miniseries collected right here for just $15. Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe again for $15. These are all graphic novels that come out tomorrow. You can pre-order them tonight. Ooh, this is a cool one. Venom and Carnage Unleashed. This is oversized. This contains Venom and Carnage Unleashed 1 through 4. Venom, Center Takes All, 1 through 5. Amazing Spider-Man Special number 1. Super Special number 1. Venom Super Special number 1. Spectacular Spider-Man Super Special number 1. And Web of Spider-Man Super Special number 1. This one is $32. And you get a ton of Venom and Carnage related comics in this together. I've also got X-Men Blue. This is X-Men Blue Volume 2, Toil and Trouble. It is $17 and collects X-Men Blue 7 through 12. Oh, this is an awesome one. Horror comic, and it's got that nice, like, almost rubberized cover. Uh, it is Winnebago Graveyard from Image Comics. It is $16 and contains all of Winnebago Graveyard, uh, the miniseries 1 through 4, all together here. Lots of occult action there. Again, I have one more of the Power of the Dark Crystal hardcovers for 23. This is uh, one through uh, six, the entirety, I guess, of the Power of the Dark Crystal. And this is one I think a lot of you guys should be interested in. This is Beowulf. These are sealed. They are hardcover. They are massive tomes. They are from Image Comics. That's right, Image Comics, Beowulf. So it was long ago when Danish kings were valiant and noble until we, 
who are but an echo of the heroic campaigns of those princes. And uh, the monsters arrived in the Danish kingdom for 12 years. It's devoured their men and women until the other side of the sea comes the hero to save them, Beowulf. The first hero pretty much in history. Uh, it is Beowulf. This is supposed to be $30. But if you want a Beowulf hardcover tonight, tonight, I've got two back here right now. These are going to be $22 for a Beowulf hardcover if you buy them tonight during the pre-sale. Keep on putting out some comics. Talk about some more toys and stuff here in a bit as we go around. We're back to A. You take down the Invincible Iron Man for four dollars as the A book. Promise to uh, read this today. Jay got a Beowulf. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. I've got another one of those Beowulf back here for twenty-two. I'm telling you. That is a nice, it's just a nice display book. It's very cool. And let's face it, it's one of the oldest stories in human history. Eh, it's not too bad. This is Nightwing, the New Order, issue number four, United for a Common Cause. That is $4 for Nightwing, the First Order. That is going to be the A book. Uh, yeah, we're not there yet, Barry. I did get it. We are not there just yet. That's not actually true because um, comics, uh, first cover, first printing. Got so it. it's not always the same. <laughs> it did that time, though. Uh, this Spawn Resurrection trade is only 10 bucks. 10 bucks for the Spawn graphic novel, if you'd like that. And who wouldn't like that? I'm going to take down the James Bond. All right. Um, then again, it may just sit. It happens, man. This is Punisher the Platoon. Punisher the Platoon. I have two copies available. George got all three of those. Those were good purchases, George. Thank you, sir. We got those for you. Huh? Okay. That is Punisher Platoon. I've only got two of those left available. You guys have watched the Punisher, of course, in the uh, Netflix show and in their current comics. They kind of update his origin. He's always getting into a newer and newer war. This is still Vietnam era Frank Castle and what went on there. Written by Garth Ennis, so you know it's nice and gory. Batman Shadow Hardcover. Um... No, not today. Not today. B4 to David Brown. David gets a Punisher. Thank you, sir. Only got one Punisher left. Let me go ahead and take down the uh, C book here. This is the Just League of America 19 for $3. And I'm going to take down the D book, which is the Lark's Killer for 4 All right, you guys have been waiting on this thing. I've been waiting on this thing. This is Redneck, issue number seven on the cover here. You got a nice big rattlesnake. You got the uh, vampires there with shotguns. Why are they afraid of a snake? I don't know. Could be because it's human size. It's tough to say. Uh, this is Redneck, issue number seven. That is $4. That is going to be your C book.
Tosh gets one. Thank you. Well, let me get you back here. Jay gets one. Thank you, Jay. This starts a new story arc. If you haven't read Redneck, we can get you the graphic novel. This also starts the new story arc, so uh, get ready. In the last one, without spoiling too much, they had to leave their ancestral home. So, or not really ancestral home, but the one they've been at for a while. So I guess we're going to see how that all shakes out. I wonder if there's going to be a time jump in this one or not. But uh, I'm looking forward to reading it. It's technically the second story arc for the series, I guess. Um... Or maybe it's the start of the third. It's tough to say. This is Redneck Issue 7. This is the B cover. with The main character sitting on the uh, hood of a truck in a flood. I'm thinking about Houston there. Uh, he's got his beers ready to go. Texas Forever on his t-shirt. That is the D-book for $4. Thank you, George, George. George gets one for four. Thank you, George. I do have quite a bit left of the B cover. D4 to Barry Lamb. Thank you, Barry. Uh, the issue where Wolverine comes back. Shamir, that's Marvel Legacy. Did you get a Marvel Legacy from us? Because it's in that. That's the only time they've shown Wolverine at all, is in that Marvel Legacy, those couple of pages. They've not done the actual Wolverine stuff yet. <laughs> Isaac gets one. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you, Isaac. That uh, that's the last one of the B cover I have. That is it. Um, you didn't get a Marvel Legacy. All right. Um, I'll bingo check see if we have any available. It's just the Marvel Legacy. One shot, yeah. Just bring me one if we got it. All right. What else we got here? We got nothing. I'm gonna flip through Redneck right now, a little bit. Oh! Nothing, nothing. No, don't be doing that. Don't really ruin it for yourself. You ain't got time to be reading your phone. <laughs> I gotta sell books. This is uh, Rick and Morty, Pocket Like You Stole It, issue at number five. Rick and Morty, Pocket Like You Stole It, number five. It is $4. I'm going to take down the uh, Librarians, issue uh, two, photo cover for four. And we're going to put out the Rick and Morty for $4. That's going to be your new ebook. C4 to Isaac. Isaac gets an issue of Redneck. Thank you, sir. Red Day Marvel doing little Wolverine stories about his return to some of the other titles. So yeah, they're going to build to it for a while. Thank you. Uh, Shamir, if you'd like Marvel Legacy. Uh, Marvel Legacy one shot is six dollars. Just put Marvel for six in the feed, and I'll get that for you, sir. Isaac gets Rick and Morty. Thank you, Isaac. I'm going to take down the F book. This is Long Lost, issue number one, for $4. And put out Riverdale, issue number eight. That is Betty on the photo cover there for four. Marvel for six. That goes to Shamir, that Marvel legacy. Thank you, sir. Now you can find out all about Mr. Wolverine. Sort of. <laughs> it's in there. They just don't give you a lot of specifics. Did we have more of that on the shelf? All right. If anybody else needs a Marvel Legacy one-shot for $6, if you want to see the return of Wolverine, 
Uh, it is a first printing. You can claim Marvel for six. We'll go grab them for you. This is Luke Cage issue 167 for four dollars. I'm gonna take that down. Any Walking Dead tonight? Uh, there's no Walking Dead came out this week. This is the uh, new comic pre-sale. Uh, so no Walking Dead new issues came out this week. We may go into some older stuff as the uh, night goes. It depends on how late it takes for us to get through the books a couple of times. Um, but um, I don't know. If there's anything else particularly you're looking for that we can get you, maybe. But um, I don't know. Rocky and Bullwinkle issue one. This is the Moose and Squirrel variant. That is $4. That is the G-Book. Marvel for six. Isaac needs a uh, Marvel. All right, Isaac, we'll be sure to get you one. This is the Maxwell's Demons, issue number one for four. I'm going to take that down. Anybody else need a Marvel Legacy? Because uh, it's a good one. Now, Kobe, if you like, if you like The Walking Dead, you'd be a fan of Redneck if you've not read it yet. It is by Skybound, which is Robert Kirkman's publishing company. He doesn't do it. However, Donnie Cates writes it, who has becoming like a skyrocketing writer all through the comic scene. Also, I believe he writes actual horror novels. Um, it's about a family of vampires living in the South who have their own barbecue joint. And uh, they try to stay on their own. They basically get the blood from the cows. Then the cows go to the barbecue joint. They're familiars during the day. They're the ones who work the uh, barbecue place. Things go bad in the town they're in, and they're uh, forced to uh, do a little fighting and move on. Really good, man. Really good if you've not read it yet. If you have, then you know how good it is. This is Royals, issue number 11. It is the Inhumans. That is $4. That's going to be your H book. This is Rugrats, issue number two from Nickelodeon. And there they are, all these toys about to fall on Angelica. She deserves it. It is $4. We're going to take on the iBook, which is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and put out the Rugrats for just $4. All right, Isaac, here you go, man. Oh, come on. All right, Isaac, here's your uh, Marvel uh, Legacy, number one. Yeah, yeah, you can get the first six in the trade and then grab that new issue, number seven. Caught up. That is, that, and I, it seems like I'm trying to push that book on you, and I am. It's legitimately really good. I don't do that with a lot of books, but if I push a book on you, know that it's probably worth it. This is Savage Dragon 228. It is $4. $4 for that. I'm going to put that out here as the new J book. That issue is Savage Dragon. I'm going to take down the Motor Girl, which was in the, uh, the $4, which was the J book, which was before. Oh, goodness. All right. We're still going. We're in the S's right now. Also, before I uh, start working on the board again, we just put, filled the board right now. Leave that stuff over for a second. I'm going to show you some of the action figures and toys and stuff that we got in today. Still not heavy, though. So I guess it's quality. Yeah, I'm feeling nice. Don't feel like I'm going to be 
possibly it's taking steps back. I mean, I don't know what it's doing. You know? Yeah. And conceivably, it's waterproof, so I probably would have rather just kind of stuck to it. Yeah, it's nice. All right. So, let's talk about what we got here. This is Groot. This is Groot if he was skinned and made into a wallet, uh, possibly by Drax. It's tough to say. Um, also, it does have the I Am Groot little uh, logo. If you put it here, actually, this came loose. Got that done. Let me just get that out. So we don't lose it. This is the I Am Groot. Uh, it's the Guardians of the Galaxy, official Guardians of the Galaxy from BioWorld. It's got the Marvel on the back. Nice little pouch here. It's got the I Am Groot little, uh, yeah, there you go. It is uh, $20. $20 if you want to buy it right now. i got two of those. All right. This is Pennywise. This is the Pennywise Dorb for $10. It is the classic version of Pennywise from the uh, TV version, of course, of It. And this is something that if one of you do not buy this, by the end of the night, I will probably be buying this. It's the only one we have. This is the Death of Superman 2-pack from DC Icons. They've canceled the DC Icons toy line except for 2-packs and special stuff. And uh, you get a full base right there. You got the uh, Superman cape flag waving in the wind. You got Superman all bloodied up battling Doomsday. They're both super articulated. Come with extra heads, hands. Of course, you got the eye effect for Superman. You got punch effects from Doomsday. See them a little better there on the back. This entire set is $80, and you get a ton of stuff in this box. 80 bucks for that one. Well, Brian, it's only $80, and you can get it right now. And if you don't, I swear to you, I will get that today. Uh, it's just a thing that happens. <laughs> Someone should get it. I'm just saying. All right. Because, I mean, I've got a lot of action figures lately. I really don't need to be buying more action figures. But I will. I will buy that. This is the Shadow issue number four. We're going to put this out for $4. That is the A book for four. I'm going to take down the Nightwing, the new order. It's worth the challenge, Brian. Let her. Let her try. You need that figure in your life. You got blood all over him. It's freaking great. It looks exactly like the 90s Death Superman comic, which took place last week, 25 years ago. This is the Shadow issue number four. This is another variant edition of the Shadow. That is going to be the B-Book. I'm going to take down the Punisher, the Platoon. That is the only other issue I have of that. It's $4. Oh, yeah. And this is the Shadow Issue 4. This is the uh, third cover. That is $4 for that one. I'm going to take in the Redneck. We're done selling Redneck for right now. I'm going to take it down. That is the last one of the B cover of Redneck. If anybody wants to claim it, now is your time to do it. Last copy of that I got. Yeah, Otha, you should have each cover of the regulars. You should have all those in your subs. Yep, yep. Um, three dollars. Oh, it's only three bucks. This is from Image, from Brian Lee O'Malley, writer, creator of Scott Pilgrim. This is Snot Girl issue number eight, the boys issue. It is three dollars. That is the D book.
This is another awesome one. This is Spawn issue. Spawn kills everyone. Spawn kills everyone. Issue number one. That is three dollars. Awesome little fun story with a tiny Spawn just murdering all of Marvel and DC and Image characters. He just kills everybody. That is three dollars. That is the ebook. Take down the uh, Rick and Morty for four. E3 to George. Thank you, George. I've only got one more copy of the Spawn Kills Everyone left. So wants to claim it, now's the time to do it. All right, I'm going to take down Riverdale, issue number eight for $4. That is the uh, photo cover of Betty there. Four bucks for that. E3 to Tosh. Tosh got the other one. Thank you. Did I give you a bag of board for that one? No. Did you buy him one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is part of Arms Race. This is a legacy issue. Spider Man versus Deadpool, issue number 24. That is a Chris Boschelo cover. He also does the art on the inside, which is pretty great. $4 for Spider-Man Deadpool. That is your ebook. And you guys have seen the trailer. Sure, you guys are getting stoked at this point. This is Star Wars issue 39 from Marvel Comics. That is $4. That is going to be the F book. G is the Rock and Bullwink. I'm going to pull that. And I'm going to put out the Star Wars issue 39 action figure Imperial Commander variant. Also out for four. That is the G book. Two versions of Star Wars ready to go. All right. And how is everybody's uh, Tuesday going? How's everybody's Tuesday going? I haven't talked to you guys about any of that. It is after 8 o'clock. I'm sure you guys have had fun-filled days. Any adventures? Let me know in the feed. This is the H book for four. This is Steven Universe issue number 10. I've only got one of those. That is $4 for Steven Universe. And we want to keep those likes and shares going because at the end of the new comic sale, we will be giving away something awesome. Well worth your time. Well, that's a pretty good day, Joshua. I still feel like. Hey, any day above the ground is better than one when you're not. So, there you go. Yeah, um, <laughs> this is Rugrats, issue number two for $4. Thank you, George. All right. For three bucks, the secret history of Task Force X continues. This is Suicide Squad, issue 30. 
200,000 miles from Earth, and it's dinner time. There's Harley, Captain Boomerang, Katana, and Killer Croc on the front. That is $3. That is the iBook. Eighteen turkeys, what? That uh, are you sending us one of those? I mean, I don't get the eighteen, man. That's too many. <laughs> this is Suicide Squad issue thirty. This is the B cover by Will Spartaccio, and that is Deadshot uh, and the entire team. There, it is three dollars. That issue of Suicide Squad. That is the J book. That is the B cover there. Hello. Good morning. I forgot about that one. Anybody know if you're in Yeah, just one season. It wasn't exactly a uh, popular thing. It's not bad. It's like Egon training people, right? It's just definitely like a 90s deal. Thank you, Raw. Appreciate that. Injected, season, and smoke. Most are for other families. Well, that's awesome, man. Of course, I got to say, I mean, I I don't have a, a smoked turkey here. So, I don't know. Thought we were pals. Thought we were pals. Uh, yeah, I'll be here from noon to four up front and then go into hazard after four to work a wrestling show. Thanksgiving night. Thanksgiving turmoil DVD taping. There's reasons for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think they have food here. Uh, there's some lady actually who's uh, she comes to the shows with her niece and nephew, this elder woman, and she's supposedly bringing me and Jake a plate of food. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Danny, good to see you too, man. You are too far north, Joshua. You are. You stay up. You stay up there towards the wall. I'll just be down here. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Man, Wally, I tell you, there's a pretty good chance I'm going to get beat down again. That's just the way it works. That's my life now. I've come to accept it. Being a happy-go-lucky, high-fiving type of guy, you just get your butt kicked all the time. It's not nearly as good as being evil. This is uh, the shadow. I'm going to pull the shadow down. All the various covers under the sun right here. This is Teen Titans issue 14, The Return of Kid Flash, The Fast and the Furious. And that's Wally and Damien about to throw down. That is $4 for that A cover. Robert would like I to read. I three to Robert. Thank you, Robert. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to leave that one out there. I got a copy of it back here for you. There you are, sir. And the uh, B book for four is the B cover to Teen Titans. It's issue number 14. A uh, really awesome cover here. You've got Damien, Raven, um, Aqualad, Beast Boy, and Star Sapphire all together. It is $4. That is the B book. Well, he does when he can. He has grabbed guys by the head and pulled them back in the ring before because they were getting too close. Um, it's just, you know, sometimes, man, he gets distracted. Gets distracted. All right, in the C spot, we are going to put out Thanos. This is Thanos issue 13, Thanos wins part one. This is the first legacy issue of Thanos.
And uh, he's taking on Ghost Rider. Which is pretty interesting. Ghost Rider's in space doing some damage. Taking on Thanos. Pretty cool. Thanos issue 13. That is going to be $4. That is the C book. Nope, just on store, in store only. Yeah, I know, man. We're, we're good, though. The insurance adjuster came by today. I think we're going to be good on the car as far as uh, they quoted enough for to pay it off. It was almost paid off anyway, and enough for there uh, to be some cash to put down on a new vehicle. So I got to go car shopping. Ugh, that'll probably be my Sunday. Because I got a lot of stuff going on until Sunday, basically. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It can be, but mostly it's not. <laughs> the car shopping is fine. It's the dealing with the people at the lot and the waiting when you decide and, you know, the paperwork, all that jazz. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Still deciding on what we want. Uh, thinking about maybe a Chevy Traverse. I don't know. Because we're kind of wanting a uh, kind of wanting a SUV type vehicle, something to put plenty of people in. Um, this is Snot Girl for three. I'm gonna take that down. Or if, I can, if I can find another good Honda, I will do that. Because I'll tell you, man, that car killed it. Over two hundred thousand miles, no problems. Well, until the front end disappeared, but otherwise it was great. Yeah, Toyota's not bad. Mom's got one, and she's driven it for a while. Yeah. Pretty good. Next up, this is from Statics Press. This is The Beautiful Death. This is issue number three, The Future World. An unusual, enjoyable reading experience. Ten out of ten from Kaboom. Uh... And it's people living uh, in the far-flung future in cities that have been well worth their time. The art in this is great. I think uh, Jay Collins has been picking this up. Have you read it yet, Jay, if you're still on the feed? This is The Beautiful Death, issue number three. That is $4. That is going to be the D-book. Basically, giant cockroaches. A Fred Flintstone car? Yeah, I could. Except that I uh, basically live like almost an hour away, and I uh, can't do that. Can't, can't be peddling that. But until... Oh. No, it's funnier than that. No, we cut it at six. We cut it at six. So we're shuffling. Well, Wiley, it was due to my, my driving prowess, my uh, reflexes, like a cat. Uh, no, it was just pure and sheer luck, man. I was just worried about getting around those deer and then not... I didn't want to hit the deer because you hit the deer, you don't know how your car is going to react. You hit the deer, and boom, you're in traffic, you flip, whatever happens. At least if I swerved, I was in some control. Swerved around the deer, come back around to the other lane, and of course, went into the guardrail. Um but I didn't hit any oncoming traffic, didn't hit any deer, didn't hit, uh, didn't hurt anybody, and the car was off the road, so it's done. It's done. There were two, two deer in the road, in the same lane, side by side. Didn't move until after we went around them. Um, they suck. Well, they were probably trying not to be molested by bucks. I think that's actually why they ran across the road this time of year. So much. Yeah, that's what the, one of the cops was saying. He said that they're so bad here on the roads a lot of times because they are on the run, basically, from the mail deer right now. And so they were like, and you got to think the highway is like a legitimate, like, oh, man, I'll follow us over here. Like, it's a legitimate <laughs> escape. <laughs> yeah, it's a legitimate escape. And I was like, well, that makes sense. Yep. This is TMNT Ghostbusters 2, issue number four. That is the A cover. <laughs> I'm going to put out a... Uh-oh, let's see, where was that? Uh, let's 
Spider-Man Deadpool. Nobody want a Spider-Man Deadpool tonight? We're going to take that down, and we're going to put out that for $4. That is the A cover for TMNT Ghostbusters. E4 to George. Thank you, George. George gets a Ghostbusters TMNT. If you guys have been checking that series out, it's awesome. Also, a uh, number of the Ghostbusters here. One of them is Better Ray Bill. Not Better Ray Bill. Uh, Ray Filet. Ray Filet. Who's all? What? Oh. Jeez. Well, were they just like, yeah, it happens. Or were they just like, oh, you. <laughs> Our mailbox is just the store. Like, somebody just brings the mail in here. Uh, the F book is going to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ghostbusters 2, issue number four. The B cover It is a Viking warship with Casey Jones and Raphael. And a ghost horde of Vikings. That is four dollars. That is the F book. Kingpin, every life matters. We'll take down the Star Wars. Brian gets the B cover. Thank you, Brian. Except for Dimitri, that cat man. Time's coming. Time's coming. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Take out the Star Wars here for G. That is Steven Universe, Michaela. For four, all right. We'll get it for you here. That is uh, the H book. H book for four to Michaela. It's the only one of those I had. Taking the Star Wars. What have you been up to, Kingpin? I don't think I've, have you been on the feed long? I haven't seen you. This is TMNT Universe, TM, Teenage Mutant Turtles Universe, number 16, cover A. And uh, there they are in the sewer, about to take on a Triceraton. That is $4. Is that for the G cover? G for four before was that Star Wars. I don't feel like you collect Ninja Turtles. It was the Star Wars, right? Was it the Star Wars, Jay, you were after? It was probably the Star Wars. <laughs> oh, wait. These are the wrong price. Boop. She's claimed turtles. If I get the chance. These are five bucks. I meant the Star Wars. All right. I'll get it for you. All right. Isaac, I'm going to give you one of those for four because I accidentally put four on it. All right. So Isaac gets one of these for four. Because I put the wrong price. And then uh, Jay gets a Star Wars for four. That's for you, Jay. Please. All right. Uh, that is the B cover. I've only got one of those available with the Triceraton on the B cover. Uh, the I book for three, that is the Suicide Squad issue 30A cover. I'm going to take that down. And the J, which is the B cover. Uh, it was just, it just ran its course. They're already got a new one that's going to be starting up this coming year. Uh, the, uh, I forget what it's called. Like the Origins of the Turtles, or I forget what the name of it is. But the, they're just, it ran its storyline instead of just having it go forever. They just cut it. They're going to do a new one. Then when it's over, they'll do a new one. Uh, it just means that at one of these times... Nick is going to do an adult-oriented Turtles. It's just a matter of time. So. Yeah, yeah, and Justice 2. Yeah, they look good. It, it's, it's the four Turtles, and there were a couple other people, I think, on that, too. Look at the other guys. Yeah, the four Turtles on Justice look good, huh? The Adam. Yeah, yeah, from the TV show, the Flash TV show. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the new, the new download content. They've already got like Hellboy and all kinds of stuff. So. 
This is a cool number one. What's up? Mm -mm. Get back to work. This is Tomb Raider issue one for $4. Um, Survivor's Crusade. This is, uh, well, if you guys have seen the chart for the movie, this is like that. What, what are you about to do? It's horrible. This is Tomb Raider number one for four. That is the iBook. I've still got to catch up a season on the uh, Turtle cartoon. I for four to Jay. Thank you, Jay. Jay got one of those issues of Tomb Raider. The J book is Turok. Turok issue number four. Featuring Dr. Spectre. Turok Dinosaur Hunter from Valiant. That is the J book. Even though they, well, they did take the Dinosaur Hunter moniker out of the title. Not a big fan of that. I like it saying Dinosaur Hunter. People need to know what the guy's all about. I feel like it makes his book sell better. I've got a lot of pop vinyls. I should probably show you a bunch of those as we continue on the comics. I just filled the board. We're at the middle of the tease. I still got a lot of books left. But I'm going to show you some of these pop vinyls. All right, from Thor Ragnarok, this is Thor, or Hulk. Duh, it's not Thor. It's Hulk. It says it right on the box, and he's green. Uh, that is Hulk in his gladiator gear. That is $13. We've got the Joker from the Suicide Squad. He's holding a grenade, and half of his face is burnt off. This is the uh, Funko 2016 New York Comic Con Exclusive Limited Edition. This one is $19. 19 for the Joker. From iZombie, this is Olivia Moore. This is the 2016 Summer Convention Exclusive. Here she is. She's got on uh, kind of a black jacket and shorts. Different from the, uh, the lab coat and stuff she wore on the previous pop. It is $15 for the iZombie. One that's awesome, and if it stays here past the time I talk about it, I'll be surprised. This is Old Man Logan. Old Man Logan. He's the 2017 Fall Convention exclusive. He is seventeen dollars. He's got the trench coat, got the claws popped. Awesome stuff. Looks just like the uh, Steve McNiven original version of Old Man Logan. George wants to see the Hulk again. All right. This is the Hulk for thirteen. That is the Gladiator Hulk. He's a big one. He's got his hammer. Looking mad. Gladiator gear. $13 for the Hulk. And last but not least, from Justice League Unlimited, this is the Martian Manhunter. He is a Walmart exclusive. He is $15 for the Martian Manhunter. That is his animated version. Oh, yeah, in the backpack. Let me, let me show this back. Uh, the only way to do this is to take this out of this thing. Oh, yeah. It's pretty nice. All right. Oh, is it not the same thing? Well, it can be either, I think. Yeah, because it's got the it's got the, everything in here. Also, it's got mole straps to attach pouches if you have military gear. This is pretty, okay. This is pretty <laughs> cool. Um... Yeah, okay. This is this awesome Batman messenger bag. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a uh, a woven fiber here. you got leather on the sides and the back. Uh, it's from BioWorld. It's got all kinds of pouches. It's got the uh, metal bat symbol. This is metal, so you can, if you have magnets, you can stick stuff to it if you need to. Um, let's see. Coated material for easy clean. Interchangeable straps, ample storage, and magnetic closure for convenience. Uh, it has these two straps if you wanted to use it as a small backpack. It also does have the main strap 
This flap opens. It's got the zipper enclosure up top. You open it up. It's got all kinds of room inside. It also does have the main strap here you can attach to have it as a shoulder bag. It's got all the pouches, all kinds of stuff. This thing will hold everything. This awesome BioWorld Batman messenger pouch. It even has this pouch here that opens. Put laptops, whatever you'd like in this thing. And it has the mole straps here on the side so you can attach more pouches if you need or put glow sticks, whatever you need to do to fight the crime, whatever you want. Uh, this is going to be uh, $90, $90 for this BioWorld Batman messenger bag. We have one of these available. It's actually pretty heavy duty. $90? 90 bucks. I mean, it's nice. It's good brand and everything. Not a $90 Batman bag. <laughs> close, close. <laughs> Tosh is definitely wanting that bag. Which one do you want to buy it for? You can. She's hinting that pretty heavy as she wants that for Christmas. Well, we got another million. Oh, the glass top thing that was in the statue case? Gotcha. Get on the Teen Titans for $4. Oh, All right. It is, man. It's cool. Shamir, I feel like, I feel like maybe. You... You're what that messenger bag needs, Ramir. You're the hero it deserves. This is Underwinter, uh, A Field of Feathers Part 2. What was stolen will be hunted. It is $4. For that issue of Underwinter, that is the A book from Image. A for four to George. Thank you, George. And Robert. And Robert. Both get underwintered. One. Next up, for the B book, this is Van Helsing versus the Werewolf. It is from Zenoscope, creator of Grim Fairy Tales. That is $4. That is the B book. B for four to J. All right, J gets one of these for four. Uh, no, that's the only one I got. Only one I have. This is a new image number one that I highly recommend you purchase. It is Void Trip number one for four dollars. It is about space truckers. And if that isn't good enough to make you buy this, I question what you're even doing on this feed. Void Trip, Issue 1, Space Trucker Action, plus the art's insane. It is $4. That is going to be the C-Book. Space Truckers. B4 to George. It's the last one of those. Thank you, George. And C for 4 to George. Thank you, George. George is getting a Void Trip. I'll grab you one of those. Think most Isley Cantina as a truck stop. And you're getting an idea of what's going on in this book. It's freaking great. Uh, no idea, Josh. We never know till they come in.
Uh, we didn't. We didn't get any Stargate in this week. This is the D book for four dollars. The Beautiful Death. I'm going to take that down. I'm going to put up Garth Ennis War Stories issue 25 for four dollars. That is four bucks right there. That's the D book. Take down the turtles. And I'm going to put out You should fill that hole by buying just other things. Uh-uh. No, neither of those. This is War Stories issue 25 for $4. That is the uh, art cover. This one down as well. Ghostbuster TMNT is coming down. I do not know. I have no idea, Barry. Oh, the Megazord pop. Yeah, I don't know when we're going to get that. Or if they're even going to end up sending it to us. Like, I don't know. I know we've ordered it, but who knows? Hopefully soon. I don't even care about what. What are we talking about now? Oh, the Megazord pop? I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that you guys care. I'll gladly sell it to you, but I personally don't care. <laughs> this is Warframe issue number two. That is $4. I'm happy you guys are passionate about it. I didn't read that one, Megan. I've been busy working. I haven't been reading all these comments. People are supposed to keep me filled in on this stuff. You got the t-shirts designed. I, well, where's the design at, Megan? F4 to Robert. F4 to Robert. Thank you, Robert. I do want to see a t-shirt. I do. Just because that's cool. All right, I'll check them out. It'll be after uh, this sells over, but I'll definitely check them out. Um, I, I don't know if Doomsday Clock's a weekly or not. Uh, can we check and see? It's a 12-issue series. It makes sense for it to be weekly. I doubt that they would want to do a whole year. But at the same time, if Gary Frank's doing the art, ugh, it may need to be a year-long series because that dude is not quick. He's not quick on the drawing there. Nothing's really polyping up and saying weekly. So I would say, and plus they have Dark Knight Metal going still. Uh, I'd say it's probably just going to be monthly. Oh, okay. What? What is metals monthly? Yeah, or even farther than month, but they've been putting out the weekly tie-ins, but they're done with all those now. See, because metal goes till February, so they'll probably just offset Doomsday Clock and metal each month. So they don't cross over. That's why no metal tie-ins or anything came out this week. Okay. Anyways. Turtles. Mm, turtles, turtles, turtles. Take down some turtles.
It's coming, Jay. It's coming. One more tie in Hawkman. Yeah, yeah. The Hawkman found, I guess. This is Wayward Issue 25. That is going to be the G book. Jay, you can pick up some stuff on the way to X. You got some W's coming up. This is Wayward Issue 25. This is the B cover. That is also $4. That is going to be your H book. But I think you also only have to buy the one book. It's not like you have to buy 50. I mean, I'm sure, I think Superman ties in with it. But, um, I don't think there's a whole lot of tie-in otherwise. Which is cool. Yeah, so it'll be monthly. H4 to J. Yeah, uh, February's the end of metal. February's the end. They'll have the, uh, the new issue coming out this month, and then... The Hawkman, and then the last couple metal shots. All right. This is a cool one. It's from uh, IDW. This is Weird Love, issue 21. On the cover, I'm yours. I belong to the snake. He's looking in her eyes. She's got a snake wrapped around her. She's hypnotized the man, as, as it happens, I feel like, all the time. Um, these are crazy... Weird Love, classic-looking comics. Vintage romance action. Weird Love, issue 21. And they're just going to be just five measly dollars, is all these books are. We're going to put these out. Weird Love, five bucks. And the quote is, Deranged Genius from Wired Magazine. So there you go. Oh, fantastic. So they're already super late. <laughs> I'm going to take down the Turok for four. Space truckers there in the C-spot, guys. Uh, I can't believe we're not sold out yet. It's a telling sign. Telling sign. This is uh, Wonder Woman, Times Past. This is issue number 35 of Wonder Woman featuring uh, her brother, the secret origin of Wonder Woman's brother, whose name just happens to be Jason. It's $3. That is the J book. Yeah. And this is Wonder Woman issue 35. This is the B cover. And this is the Justice League movie variant cover of Wonder Woman. And it's Wonder Woman, Batman, Flash, and Cyborg there. That is $3. That is the A book. J3 to Robert. Thank you, Robert. Robert got that issue of Wonder Woman. Um, I don't know. I know you got that one. Okay. Do we have Julie Strain stuff? Um, I had a Julie Strain issue of Vampirella photo cover yesterday, but that's all I know of otherwise. A3 to Isaac. A3 to Isaac. Thank you, Isaac. I'm almost out of those Justice League covers. Shamir, you've been grabbing the Justice League covers, right? No, you got to get the A book. Yeah, the Wild Hunt is mentioned at the end of uh, The Batman Who Laughs. But I'm wondering if that's not a storyline. I don't know, maybe. Kind of like they did with uh, Bats Out of Hell and stuff. I don't know. Put up this underwear. This is WWE issue number 11. This is the A cover. That is Roman Reigns on the front. That is $4. That is the B book. 
A3 to Shamir. Shamir got the last one of the Wonder Woman uh, Justice League variant covers. Thank you, Shamir. This is WWE, the newest issue. This is the Royal Rumble cover, this issue number 11. And uh, that is Hacksaw Jim Duggan being grabbed up by Rusev. You got Lana out there. That is $4. That is the A, cover, the A book. Is that WWE issue? B4 to Danny. Thank you, Danny. Danny got the uh, Roman Reigns. And I'm going to put this last one out in the B spot. The last WWE issue we have. This is issue 11. This is the Naomi action figure variant. Got the Feel the Glow shirt, the uh, light up belt, and the glow stuff. They haven't actually put out that version of her in action figures yet. That is $4. That is the B book. That's right, Barry. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, man. A true American hero. With his 2 by 4 and his paunch. Dark Knights Rising the Wild Hunt. Whoa, man, that's written by everybody and drawn by everybody. February 14th. Nice. Mm. All right. Void Trip. Really? Space. Oh, man, guys. Wait till tomorrow when I show you what the artwork looks like in this. You're like, oh, man, I want that now. And it's like, oh, we're sold out. Because that's what happens with image number one. Danny got the Naomi action figure variant for four. Thank you, Danny. All right, this new B book. I know we got at least one guy who's down to pick it up. Who else is ready? This is the Negative Zone War, part one. This is X-Men Gold issue 16. Not only that, you got the X-Men in brand new uniforms with the awesome uh, red X across the chest. Old Man Logan, Colossus, Storm, um, and others. It is $4. That is the B-Book. George gets an X-Men Gold. Thank you, George. Got one right here for you. Jay Collins gets one. Thank you, Jay. Oh, nice, Danny. He'll dig it. Plus, that comic's legitimately pretty good. Caesar gets an X-Men gold. Thank you, Caesar. And I want to remind everybody, again, before the night's over, we only got one of these left. I remind everybody about it. This is the Superman Doomsday action figure two-pack featuring the death of Superman. Two highly articulated figures, multiple heads, plus the full base with the cape flag on it. DC Icons, death of Superman. This took place 25 years ago, almost to the day. Actually, it was last Friday. And uh, the release of uh, Justice League, same day, 25 years before Superman died. This is $80.00. You get both of these highly articulated figures right here, ready to go. Awesome stuff. I say just put in twice on accident. All right, next up for C. This is XO Manowar, 
issue number nine. That is going to be $4 from Valiant. Ooh, make sure it stands up here for me. There we go. This is Zombie Tramp issue 41. This is the regular A cover. That is going to be $5. Only got one of these. That is the D book. Get down the war stories here and here. This is Zombie Tramp issue 41. This is the limited edition cover. That is going to be $5. I'm going to take down the uh, Warframe number two for four. And this is Zombie Tramp. This is the artist variant. Issue number 41 for $5. That is going to be the F book. Oof. I'm going to sit down for just a second. It's now almost 9 o'clock. And we've just went through them one time. Okay. Oh, so we get to go through them. All right, Megan. Need a badge. Like this sweet doomsday clock pin. Take down Wayward. It's going to be the G and H spots here. And I'm going to put out Doomsday Clock. This is Doomsday Clock, issue number one at 12. It is $5. That is the Gary Frank cover there with Superman, Dr. Manhattan. And this is Doomsday Clock issue number one. This is the Gary Frank variant. Uh, the end is here. They got the Ozzyman dice face marked through there. Everything's going here. Things are going bad for the Watchmen. That is the H book for five. Give you an extra one. Pish. Pish These are actually kind of pricey buttons. Oh, those were in the Doomsday Bundle. They were in the Doomsday Bundle. The Doomsday Bundle, you got everything. There's a couple of covers I'm completely out of now, though. Uh, this is Marvel Legacy. This is Thanos, issue 13. This is the trading card style variant of Thanos. That is going to be $5. I'm going to put that right there for you. Get down the Game of Thrones for 10 
Yeah, yeah. If you got the Doomsday Bundle, you got everything. But, hey, you might want extras of some stuff. Thanos for five to Kevin. I'm assuming that's an autocorrect action. <laughs> I can. Thank you. All right, let me show this action figure off real quick. All right, this is the DC Icons Death of Superman action figure set. You get two super articulated action figures. You get Superman and Doomsday. They both really move. Superman is covered in blood. He's screaming. You can actually attach that red effect to his eyes. Also, they got the punch effects here in the yellow. As you can see, well, sort of, there's a base in there as well with the flag cape on it. And behind them are extra heads, hands, and other pieces. Uh, here's a basic shot of the back. If you wanted to set it up that way, you could. Uh, also, the extra Superman head, his eyes are closed. So you can lay him on the base dead under his cape, which is morbid. But awesome. Uh, this is $80 for this two-pack of Superman versus Doomsday. The Vader series, trust me. All right. 80 bucks to Caesar. Thank you, sir. Sweet. That kept me from having to buy it, and I appreciate that. This is Thanos. This is an issue of Thanos that we uh, put out a few moments ago. We had that trading card variant. This is the lenticular variant of Thanos, and it mimics Secret Wars with Dr. Doom. I'm going to show it up close to the camera. It's $8. We didn't get it, but I also feel like it's because we carry all the single issues, and Star Wars hasn't been selling as good for us. So that's probably why we didn't get that one, but I was guessing. But yes, you are evil, Jay. But we all know. We all know you're evil. Imagine you have a lair somewhere. <laughs> all right, I'm going to show some of these pop vinyls again real quick. All right, I'm going to show these guys to you real quick, and then uh, this will probably end up out on the uh, main store floor in the morning, so you're probably going to want to pick these up while you can. This is the Hulk from Thor Ragnarok. Big, heavy chunk of a Hulk here. It is $13. It's in this gladiator gear. This is Martian Manhunter. He was from Justice League Unlimited. It is a um, Walmart exclusive Martian Manhunter. He is 15 this is the Joker from Suicide Squad. He's got the tuxedo. He's holding a smoke grenade, and the side of his face is burned black. It was a, a New York Comic Con 2016 limited edition for just $19. Here we have the Eye Zombie Olivia Moore, and she's wearing a uh, like a black skirt and leather jacket, different from the uh, lab coat she had in the other pop vinyls. It's a 2016 summer convention exclusive. It's $15. And last but not least is Old Man Logan. He is uh, the 2017 fall convention exclusive. He is $17. Old Man Logan. Very cool. Any of those pop vinyls can be yours. you got to claim them. This might sound weird, but what's a cool particular kind of gear? Um, plasticky. 
and kind of ribbed. <laughs> yeah, it's just like this thick plastic. It's kind of got it's kind of got a ribbed feel to it. Uh, not. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's not a condom. Um, but it's kind of plastic and layered to where as you turn it, you can see the different images. It's actually very hard to mess up a lenticular cover comic. At least the cover, anyway. Uh, there have been some solid 10 CGC lenticular cover comics because that front cover, it takes a lot to bend one. Yeah, yeah, Barry. A lot of people use the CLZ uh, app around here lately. That is true. Seemingly pretty good. Oh, no problem, man. Sorry for that being clear as mud. All right. Uh, I'm going to take down the weird love, even though I should have already put it in somebody's boxes here because it's awesome. Five bucks. Uh, these are some comics that we got second prints of in today that we sold out of that I'm going to uh, offer to you guys. This one is Cable, issue 150, and it's by Rob Liefeld and mimics the classic New Mutants 98 cover of the first appearance of Cable. That is $4 at second printing. The I book for four. The J book. I'm going to take that down. That is Wonder Woman. I'm going to out of the A section as well. Oh, no, that's WWE, but you saw the thing here. Cool. Put that up. Not just yet, but we're getting there, yeah. These are the uh, second print things. I'm putting them out first. This is God Complex Issue 1. We sold Issue 2 earlier tonight. If you missed Issue 1, this is a second printing. It is $4 for an image comic. That is the J-Book for just $4. We're down to nine viewers. And we're down to nine viewers, and it is 9 o'clock. I remind everybody to keep liking and sharing at 11 o'clock. We will be doing an awesome giveaway. And uh, it'll be some new stuff, I'd imagine. So hopefully some people will be on here to benefit, reap those rewards. That's right. It's got a very rough texture. No matter what we say to describe the lenticular covers, it just sounds bad. I feel like we're describing it accurately. It's just... Yeah. Practically the same thing. What is I? George, that is a, a second printing... Of Cable Issue 150, which mimics the classic New Mutants cover by Rob Liefeld. That is $4. When that first printing, that was lenticular, basically. All right, and I got another print here. Let me see. This is six. Here we go. Find the uh, price tag. This is the death of the mighty Thor. This is Mighty Thor issue seven hundred. This is the uh, second printing variant edition. That is six dollars. We take on the A book. This is 
the WWE. <laughs> oh, the download? Yeah, man. Isn't that the worst? You get something new, and then it's like, ah, oh, I got it. No, I got to download it. They should just start downloading it before the release, so that way it's ready by release time. Nothing more aggravating than, oh, I got this midnight release game. I'll get to play it in two days. I, mean, I don't have that problem a lot. I have PlayStation. But... No, an Xbox is a big problem. Well, Megan, are you saying ugh because you didn't think of that or because you're embarrassed by it? Because I think that is a primarily a good reason. It's also why they want me to say this is the G-spot all the time. They just can't control themselves. Can't control themselves. What are C, D, F, and E? There's lots of stuff here, Kevin. C is Exo Man of War issue number nine for four dollars. D is Zombie Tramp issue forty one. F and E are also both Zombie Tramp forty one. They are different covers. Um, symbolic of my life, that's for sure. Caesar gets the Thanos lenticular for eight dollars. What's up, Francisco? How's it going, man? Jason Dugas on the feet. I like it. Sims 4. Man, I haven't played a Sims game in years and years. This is Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, issue number 6. This is the virgin art variant of that cover. It is $18. All right. D, E, and F to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin, I sold um, Zombie Tramp variants earlier on the show. I think I still have a copy of some of those left. Would you be interested in some of the variants as well? The, the uh, uncensored variants, if you are, let me know. And I'll try to get those out here for you. You want the chair? Get the chair. You don't know what you're thinking. It doesn't. It's so funny. Get up here. Come on. Doing good. All right, man. I like it. No, no, no. Because you just get a little sidetracked. Story of your life. What? <laughs> you were. What are you doing? All right, no problem, Kevin. Let me uh, find these for you real quick. How much did we do the zombie tramp variants for earlier? Was it seven? Yeah. Yep. All right, this is zombie tramp issue 41. This is the limited risque variant. Hang on, I got to find a uh, sensor sticker to put on here. 
That is going to be the C book for seven dollars. Also for seven, I've issued forty-one. It is also a risque variant. Seven bucks. That is going to be the ebook. Whoop. There we go. And it hurt if I didn't do that. C seven to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. And this is uh, issue 41, the artist risque variant. That's going to be the F book for seven. The cats, it's actually, I don't know where it went now. Oh, he's uh, laying under the chair now. Um, E7 to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. X-Men Gold. I'm going to take X-Men Gold down for four. Okay. This is Action Comics. <laughs> uh, Jesus is not on this, although... I, mean, I don't know. There's zombie jokes. There's other. I'm just not going to. I'm just going to put this away rather than offend anyone and just put out some more comic books, uh, which is all I'm really getting paid to do. This is Action Comics 992. That is cover A. That is going to be $3. That is the conclusion to the Oz effect. Is it on the XO Man Award? This is Action Comics issue 992. This is cover B. That is $3. Also, the conclusion of the Oz effect. This is Your Pal Archie issue number four for $4. All new comics in that, not reprint things. Out here for four dollars. This is all new Wolverine issue twenty seven. There you have Laura and Dawkins are surrounded with a number of uh, X faced individuals. Four dollars for all new Wolverine. That is going to be the ebook for four. This is Angel issue number eleven. That is going to be four dollars. That issue of Angel. Where is Lillian Brooks at? I'm going to take down the Doomsday Clock issues. And here for G, this is Angel Issue 11, finishing what they started. That is going to be $4 for that cover. Animosity Evolution. The animals become sentient, start killing us all. And then they get upgraded with weaponry. This is Animosity Evolution. That is $4. That is the H-Book. Out here for I, that cable is the uh, reshift there. I'm going to pull that down. Put up there. X-Men Gold 15. 15. Um... G for four to J. Thank you, J. J got a copy of Angel for four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. X Men Gold 15. Uh, Tosh is going to go check for it, George. We're going to see if we've got it there for you. Uh, the iBook is the Apocalypse Girl issue number one. Apocalypse Girl number one. This girl, it is the Apocalypse. She's fighting monsters, trying to get canned goods. Um, There's some uh, nude snake girl 
angel things. There's all kinds of stuff here. You got Apocalypse Girl issue one for four dollars. That is going to be the iBook. J is the God Complex issue one. Reship. We'll pull that out. And we'll put out Astro City issue 49, cover by Alex Ross. And uh, it is four dollars. Kevin Dutton gets a book for four. Hey, Kevin, how are you tonight, man? I don't think I've seen you on yet. How are things in your world? I for four to Jay Collins. Thank you, Jay. Take on the A book for six, which is the Mighty Thor reship. Second printing. We'll pull that down. Any Walking Dead? No Walking Dead came out tonight, Kevin. We did get Redneck, however, though, if you're into Redneck, which you should be. This is Bank Shot issue number four for four dollars. That is the A book. The B book for three, that is Action Comics. Take on this Action Comics. No, no takers on the Action Comics. Last one I have of that cover. This is Batgirl, issue number 17. Long live the Red Queen. That is the A cover for four. And for C, this is Batgirl, issue 17. Awesome grayscale cover with uh, Barbara Gordon being stabbed in the chest by Nightwing. Grayscale with red. Very cool. Uh, it is $4. That is the C-Book. Um, uh, do they vary? Uh, they're all different. They're all different, Francisco. Xbox One. This is uh, X Men Gold issue fifteen. This is for uh, George Bruno. Thank you, George. We're gonna get that for you. Any particular ones you're looking for, George? Or not George, uh, um, Francisco, I mean. Yeah, we had it, George. We got it for you. C4 to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin scored that issue of Batgirl. All right, we got some new people on the feed that weren't on before. If you guys need Doomsday Clock, let me know. This is Batman Beyond issue 14. That is the A cover for $4. We're going to take down the uh, Your Pal Archie for four. And I'm going to put out Batman Beyond 14, Home Sweet Home. That is the B cover. That is D. Four bucks. Sports games. You have to be specific with like what you're after. We have to go away to the main store to get them. Now we are doing a. Uh, we're gonna do an actual tour sale tomorrow, where we are gonna go through the store and show off stuff, and we'll be able to show all the games that we have, and be able to get you to buy them live. Action figures, collectibles, comics, graphic novels, RPG stuff, everything. We'll be able to uh, sell you there that way tomorrow. Oh, did you have everybody email? Hmm. Uh-huh. You mean he's not listening? He knows he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> he's 
This is Betty and Veronica Vixens, number one. Um, when trouble finds its way to the quiet town of Riverdale, a new group of masked motorcyclists emerge to keep their town safe and protect each other by any means necessary. Meet the Vixens, the toughest gang this side of Riverdale, led by the fearless duo Betty Cooper and Veronica Lodge, who are ready to enact vigilante justice throughout Riverdale and beyond. Holy cow. No holds barred thrill rod that presents Betty and Veronica like you've never seen them before. This is like Afterlife with Archie. This is just his own thing. Uh, Betty and Veronica Vixens, number one. That is $4. That is the ebook. And I have a different cover here. That is the F book for four. Kevin gets one. Thank you, Kevin. F4 to Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, E4 to Amy. Amy got that issue of Betty and Veronica. All right. So down to that one. Next up, this is Black Panther issue 167. I got two issues of Black Panther. That is $4. That's your new ebook. The Batman Who Laughs. Uh, we got it in last week, Kevin. I don't know if we have any more left available. I'll have somebody go check here shortly. Yeah, no, sorry, Kevin, man. We're sold out of that. We got more ordered in, but uh, we don't have any at the moment. All right, this is the G-Book. This is Cable, issue 151, part of Legacy. Cable, of course, big part of Deadpool 2. That is the G-Book for $4. Animosity Evolution. I'm going to take that down. We're going to put out Blue Beetle. This is the last copy of Blue Beetle I have. This is Blue Beetle issue number 15. That is $4. That's going to be your H book. You missed everything, Shamir. You always do. I don't know. I don't know what all you're looking for tonight, Shamir. It's tough to say. I said, just keep your eyes peeled. We did have the uh, Apocalypse Girl number one for $4. This is Captain Marvel issue 126. It's Captain Marvel punching out Black Widow. That is $4. That is the iBook. J is the Astro City. We'll pull that. <laughs> All right, this is one that I put out earlier, early in the show, and uh, I'm surprised that I have any here. You guys should have bought this. This is Dante. This is from Top Cow and Image Comics. Derek Robertson does the artwork who drew the boys. It is $6 and is about pure, straight up, violent, violent revenge. It is $6 for Dante. That is the J-Book. It's an oversized book, kind of with a spine on it. And uh, I'm going to try to see if they're going to be doing more issues. That guy just got shot through the face with a gun with a silencer on it. Uh, this guy's getting shanked. Uh, let me see. This guy got shot in the face with a shotgun. Oh, that's pretty bloody. Uh, oh, it's kind of the setup. Kind of the setup for everything. It's got to be the one you want. 
The A book here for four. That is the bank shot. This is the demon. Hell is Earth. Issue number one from DC. That is Etrigan the demon. Uh, DC's been doing a really good job with their number ones lately. They put out Ragman. Um, whoa, okay. There's Etrigan basically becoming a nuclear explosion. There's stuff happening here. The Demon, Hell is Earth, number one for $3. That is going to be the A book. B is the Batgirl. And that's Batman Beyond. Stay on the Batgirl here. And this is Department H. Department H, issue number 20. That is going to be $4. That is from Dark Horse. That's going to be your B-book. All right. I'm going to take down the Batman Beyond. Again, this is my second time through the book, so like I'm not taking a lot of time on these. So if there's anything you're after, feel free to claim it while it's up. I'll make sure the guys who got on the feet a little late are getting a chance to pick up some stuff early. This is Detective Comics, number 969. That is $3. That is the A cover. And here is the B cover featuring villains. That is $3 as well. That is D for that issue of the detective. The ebook, Black Panther. Just put that out shortly. And the Betty and Veronica. I'm going to pull both those. This is from uh, DC's Young Animal Imprint. This is the Doom Patrol, issue number nine for $4. This is going to be the uh, ebook for four. Kevin gets the uh, B issue of Detective. Thank you, sir. The B cover. Thank you, Kevin. All right, for F, this is Dollface. This is Dollface issue 11. That is going to be $5. That is the F book. G is cable. And take that down. And I'm going to put out this cover of Dollface. That is going to be $5 as well. It's going to be the G book. Blue Beetle. And I'm going to put out Doppelganger issue number one. Doppelganger number one for $3. Sometimes your worst enemy is yourself. Oh, and here's a guy that says double. And he's creepy and he's fighting him. He's going to take over his life. Doppelganger issue one. That is $3. That is the H book. Kevin got Doppelganger for three. Thank you, sir. Got 
Marvel. Take that down. And I'm going to put out Dr. Radar, issue number one. Issue number one, noir action right here. Uh, it is $5, Dr. Radar, number one. That is the iBook. I'm going to take out Dante for Jay. No takers on the Dante book. And I'm going to put out Dr. Radar. That is the uh, second cover. That is going to be $5. That's going to be Jay. And as the new A book, I'm going to take down the demon, Hell is Earth. And I'm going to put up Disney's DuckTales number three. That is going to be $4. That's your A book. The B book was Department H. Here's one that didn't sell out earlier. I didn't know why. I'm thinking maybe some of you guys weren't on the feed. This is The Flash, issue 35. And there's Barry and Wally. They're being affected by the uh, negative speed force, being wielded by the new reverse Flash. That is the B-Book for $3. Flash 35 from DC. And, of course, I do have Doomsday Clock. I've got one more of these left available. I've got a couple of these left. Uh, they are $5 a piece. Doomsday Clock, number one of 12. Right here. This goes all the way until next year and is bringing the Watchmen to the DC Universe. This first issue, I'll flip through it. It is filled with Rorschach. $5 a piece for these Doomsday Clock issues. See, I'm going to take down uh, the Detective Comics. And I'm going to put up George R. R. Martin's Clash of Kings, issue six. Only single regular issue I have left of Game of Thrones. That is $4. That is the C book. Doomsday. One A book for five. That would be uh, that one, I'm assuming, with Superman. That is for Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. That means all we have left. That's right. I did that. I love how you're listening to it. Just in your head, you're like, okay, don't do that. <laughs> you're like, no, you won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is Gasolina issue number three for $4. That is the D book. And from Image Comics, this is a really popular book for us. Almost sold out of it. I don't know if any of you guys missed it earlier, but there it is now. All right, I'm going to take down the uh, Doom Patrol for four. Why are you sitting up? Why are you getting excited all of a sudden? I didn't like to look. You were being cool. Oh. And now you're up on your front legs <laughs> and you're looking <laughs> for trouble. You're thinking about eating that sign or doing something crazy. I can tell. Like I can tell. I, I, I know. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Sit down. Lay down. Sit down. Lay down. <laughs> there you go. There you go. See, isn't that better? There you go. See, laying down's better. What is Dollface? Uh, Kevin, Dollface is Tales of the Ball-Jointed Witch Hunter. 
She hunts witches, and she's an animated doll, much like Pinocchio, except uh, more shapely. Uh, we have a graphic novel here. This is Dollface Volume 1. We actually got these in today. I showed these earlier. Uh, these are $14, and it gets you Dollface 1 through 4. This is issue 11 that's out now. Um, if you want to try it out, she teams up with uh, Zombie Tramp and Vamp Blade for the uh, Doll Squad, I think is what the uh, book's called. So there you go. Uh, Dollface, Volume 1, if you like it, for uh, 14 Also, of course, we do have the regular issue for 5 Um, for E, this is going to be Generation X, issue number nine. Husk is back. She's rejoined the team. That is going to be $4. That's going to be your ebook. Probably not going to stand there. I'm probably going to pull some of these back. There they go. Dollface Volume 1 to Kevin. For 14 Thank you, sir. I'm going to take down this doll face issue for five. Yeah, there you go. It is Grim Tales of Terror number 10. Grim Tales of Terror number 10. Haunted Hanging. That is $4. These are all one shots that are kind of tales from the crypt like and uh, tell stories from the creators of uh, Grim Fairy Tales. It's the last issue that I got. We sold out of everything else previous. Issue a dolphin. Um, this is Ghost Station Zero, Part Four from Image. Nice little spy tale featuring codename Babushka, who's a Russian uh, super agent. And that is the B cover for four dollars. I'm going to take down Doppelganger Issue One for three. The Doctor Radar looks pretty cool. And I'm going to put up my last copy of Hellblazer. This is the new issue of Hellblazer 16. This is the B cover. It is $4. That is the iBook. And another final copy I have. This is Glitter Bomb, the Fame Game. Issue number three from Image. That is $4. That'll be the J book. <coughs> also, I talked about this earlier. This is an oversized, massive graphic novel. This is Venom and Carnage Unleashed. And uh, you get Venom and Carnage Unleashed 1 through 4. Venom, Sinner Takes All 1 through 5. Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Venom, Spectacular Spider-Man, and Web of Spider-Man Super Specials all in this as well. That is a lot of comics. Um, when the video game Carnage Unleashed becomes a hit, it provides the psychopathic Cletus Cassidy with the opportunity to gain his freedom and renew his sadistic reign of terror on the streets. The only way to stop a bad symbiote? A good-ish symbiote. Blood will flow as Venom takes on Carnage. Then, when Killer Vigilante Sin Eater strikes, Eddie Brock's ex-wife is caught in the crossfire. To survive, must she become the bride of Venom? It's tough to say. This is $33 for this massive Venom and Carnage graphic novel. Kevin will take the Hulk pop. All right. This is the Thor Ragnarok Hulk for 13. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, he's heavy. He's a big chunk. <laughs> Just a big chunk of plastic. All right. 
I'm putting out DuckTales as the A-book, and I'm going to put out God Complex issue number two for $4. That is going to be the A-book. No takers on the flash, 35 for free. A lot of Kevin's tonight. That's true, man. This is Gotham City Garage issue number four. And that is Catwoman driving a motorcycle. And behind her is, uh, that is Nightwing. He's got his batons there ready. It is $3 for Gotham City Garage issue number four. That is the B-Book. Jay got the Game of Thrones for 18. Thank you, Jay. Where's uh, Dan? Kevin got the Carnage and Venom. Thank you, Kevin. This is Spawn Resurrection. This is uh, Daring New Adventures. Bold New Direction. Fresh New Creative Team. And um, Spawn Resurrection features stories and artwork about the new creative team of industry powerhouses. Todd McFarlane, John Boy, and Paul Jenkins join the new era of Spawn in which Al Simmons has returned to Earth to avenge the death of his one-time wife and all-time love, Wanda, and their unborn child. While she languishes in the darkest depths of hell, Al searches desperately for a way to free her, but what Al doesn't know is that not only is he in danger on Earth, but Wanda's soul is in serious jeopardy as well. With the help of his newly found angelic ally, Michael, Al will fight his way through this world and the underworld to try to save the love of his life. It is $10. For Spawn Resurrection and John Boy Myers does the artwork in here. He did Super Sons when it first started. Artwork's awesome. Ten bucks. Take down the Game of Thrones for four. I am going to put out Happy Hour in America number one for five dollars. Last copy of this fantastic indie book. Five bucks and fantastic graphics. Okay, we got about, uh, let's see. Yeah, it says 3.43, so we got, yeah, about, about 7, 16. We got about 16 minutes left on this feed. When this feed stops, we will come back to finish out things until 11, and then we'll have our massive giveaway. So far, you guys have been awesome. We're going to keep things going. Let's put something else in the close-up window here. All right, man. I like it. This is Thanos, issue 13. This is the trading card variant for just $5. Let's see if we go in the close-up window. All right. Gasolina, issue number uh, three for 4 bucks. I'm going to pull that. And this is Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale Game Series, issue number five, variant cover for just $4. That's going to be your D-book. Close number five to Kevin Dutton. Kevin got that uh, Thanos. Thank you, Kevin. All right, as your new ebook, this is Harley Quinn issue 32. That is going to be $3. And the F book for four, The Grim Fairy Tales of Terror. I'm going to take that down. This is Harley Quinn issue 32. This is the B cover. Close your eyes. I have a big surprise. It's her mallet, and it says surprise on it. And then there's two hyenas. It's no good. That is the F book, and that's the uh, Frank Cho variant.
This is Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings. This is the uh, sketch cover edition. That is $10. Well, that's the Harley Quinn. <clears throat> this is the G-Book for four. This is Ghost Station Zero. And that is the B-Cover. And two of those. This is Imaginary Fiends, issue number one from Vertigo. Number one issue. If you like horror comics, you're going to dig this. It is $4. That is the G-Book. It happens, Kristen. It happens. <laughs> this is Invader Zim, issue 25. That is the A cover for $4. It's going to be your H book. The I book. Hellblazer, I'm going to pull that. This is Invader Zim, issue 25. That is the B cover. That is going to be $4 as your I. Pull this down. All right, here for Jay, I'm going to pull down Glitter Bomb for four. And I'm going to put out the Invincible Iron Man, 594. And this is the search for Tony Stark. That is $4. Up here is A for four. That is the God Complex issue two. And I'm going to put up James Bond 007 Solstice one shot. That's right. If you've ever read a James Bond comic from Dynamite before, you can do that right now for just five bucks. And it's all contained in the one book. That is the A book for five. B book for three is the Gotham City Garage for four dollars. Same. The new B book is Justice League of America, number 19, Surgical Strike. That is Prometheus Battles Vixen. There they are on the front. The Loser Dies. That is the B book for $3. The C book is uh, Happy Hour in America. It's $5. I'm going to pull that. And I'm going to put up Lark's Killer. Issue number four by Bill Willingham, creator of the Fables. That is only $4. And this is Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe again. This is the graphic novel containing the entire miniseries, Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe Again, one through five. And uh, it is only $15. $15 for this brand new graphic novel that comes out tomorrow. And I only have one of these left as well. This is Winnebago Graveyard. Winnebago Graveyard. It is... Um, it contains one through four, the entire miniseries, the entire occult miniseries, for only uh, $16. That is from Image. Very cool, very bloody, very creepy. Winnebago Graveyard.
Found the Guardians of the Galaxy for four. And I'm going to put out The Librarians, issue number two for four dollars. That is the photo cover to The Librarians. Take down Harley Quinn. <laughs> Surprised we've not sold through uh, all those Harley Quinns. This is Long Lost, issue number one from Scout Comics. That is going to be $4 for that one. That is going to be the ebook there. And F, this is Luke Cage, issue 167. That is going to be $4. G is Imaginary Fiends. Nobody taking chances on number ones? What? Got to trust stuff out, guys. This is Maxwell's Demons, number one. It is $4. Maxwell Moss may be the greatest mind the world has ever known, but at 10 years old, he has a lot to learn. Adventuring to distant worlds through his makeshift multiversal closet door, Max will encounter greatness and goodness on a cosmic scale. But will he realize that danger lurks on both sides of the door before it's too late? Questions indeed. Like a space Narnia. It is $4. That is the G-book. on the Invader Zim. And the new H book is going to be Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, issue 21 for $4. And the I book is Motor Girl, issue number 10 from Terry Moore. Final issue of Motor Girl, it is four dollars. Oh. Something we got left in this feed. Alright, guys, this feed is about to die out. We will be back shortly to knock out things until eleven o'clock. For those of you who are just gonna be on this feed, thank you so much for being on. We do appreciate all that. But we will be back. Just in a few moments, give or take. Uh, oh, this thing's out of it. Um, so uh, we will see you then. So get ready to be back here. Buy some more stuff. We're going to put out new stuff plus a few older items as well on this next sale for the next uh, little bit of about an hour. So we're going to see what we can do. We'll see you.